hotel room, goddammit. Um, <laughs> That's how, we, um, that's, how, that's how we coming out of the gate. Like <laughs> That's how we do in 2014. That's yeah, how we do in 2014. Yeah, and yeah. it's so much I'm a oh my god, there's so much going on. Um welcome anybody who hasn't seen us before. But Mark, Sean, Keith, me, myself, George. Uh, what up? We got some we got some things that we need to talk about as far as what's coming up in 2014. Me personally, I think it's time for uh, for P Diddy to change his name to Pity Lo- to um, Diddy Low because Diddy Low. he got he got too many kids that we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> that that Christmas picture threw a lot of niggas off. Did that Christmas picture. I think that Christmas picture absolutely threw folks off. Yeah, I looked at that joint and I said, "Wait a minute!" I knew about one. I knew about three, but when I saw like six, I was like, "Wait a minute, dude! Where all them people come from?" But um, there, there are there are some great things coming in 2014. I think um, uh, we're gonna talk about them tonight. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna um talk about people politics. And and some things to come as far as music, especially music, uh, which makes our life, which which uh, kind of transitions us from one place to another, as far as where we're going and what we're doing. Wait a minute. I think we're losing people. Mark, you still there, bro? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Mark. What up? Hey, we lost George and we lost Sean, bro. All right, I get him back. What up, world? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Mark, you still taping, bro? We taping. Tipping. Hey, well, I'll just take this time, man, to um, give a shout-out to the Kang, man. And I ain't talking about Elvis. I'm talking about Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., man. Just want to give a shout-out to him on his 85th birthday, man. Um, and, and thank that, that dude, you know what I'm saying, for, um, you know, getting us to this place of... Um, of um, um, Civic freedom, man, and, and you, it's absolutely appreciated. So um, I don't want to go another further without paying homage to that that cat because you know I'm here with you know three other dreamers, man, and you know and and, and um, part of the reason we can dream as big as we can dream is because of that dude. So shout out to Dr. King for that. No doubt. Shout definitely, out. definitely. Peace to Martin Luther King. Shout out to Dr. King, even though somebody said on the timeline, "Fuck that dude." Oh. Hey, somebody put him on that uh that twerking poster. <laughs> but yo, 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 let's talk about the the twerking. First thing, like, how y'all feel about Ooh. you know Bernie oh. Sullivan? Uh, well, not Bernie Sullivan. Bernie's King. Um, I think has had something to say about you know the way um it, these these promoters are um utilizing her father, you know, and 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 his actually his picture on some of these flyers to promote. No, a not lot of not kind of utilized. <laughs> they are utilizing his picture and got that dude with a crown on and with 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 goals in his mouth. How I mean really I mean how do you how do you how do you take Dr. King and make him ratchet? Really? Wow. I could tell. I could tell you how Photoshop. That's how it's getting done. <laughs> Photoshop a mofo. Hey, hey man, hey man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Don't be surprised. Ain't nothing. Nothing is is uh nothing. What's the word I'm looking sacred. for? Sacred. Sacred. Right. That's it. Nothing is sacred anymore, man. So, man, you know, I ain't surprised. Niggas ain't taking pictures of Jesus, whatever picture that we baby believe is Jesus and putting him with him, putting him with some gold. Well, see, you, Mark, 
Mark. Yeah, you ain't see mine Mark today. Mark the selfie. Thing that he put on his on his page today. Uh, Jesus, now here, now this is one thing. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I had to laugh. I really did because it wasn't just Jesus taking a selfie of himself. It was Jesus on the cross. On oh, the wow. cross, taking a selfie. It's Jesus like this on the cross. Man, dude. No, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Come on, I we got it. I saw that, and I, I chuckled. Saying. I'm sorry, I chuckled. Yeah, <laughs> I it's just fun. Forgive me, Jesus. Please forgive me, God. But he ain't going to do shit to me, so, I mean, but I, he'll, be able to, he'll be able to laugh at me, I'm sure, before he strike me down or whatever he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway. I didn't see that. Oh, my God. Definitely Martin Luther King, man. It's because of you. I mean, it's, it's little things, man. Like, I was drinking out of a water fountain at a white uh, health club the other day. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> we come, we came a little far. I mean, we still got, yeah. we can still argue about integration versus segregation. And, you know, but I think Walt, Martin Luther MLK for just, you know, making it okay for, you know, us to kind of just get along the way we do these days. And I know he's going to give people hell about poverty. That was the next thing. So they that was they, that was the ne- that was the next thing on this list, mm-hmm. which is what I want, which is kind of what I want to go into, which is this uh, gay civil rights war that's coming up. I mean, you know, I love the gays; mm-hmm. they get their life, but <laughs> to compare, sometimes. Uh, Okay, sometimes when you want to compare apples and oranges, it's not it's it definitely apples and oranges. It's not apples and apples. So when there are gay people that say that they struggle as much as they are struggling as much as black people struggled for equality, that bothers me. And it bothers me in, in in not in not the way that most people think. I mean I, I mean I understand that, you know, transgender transgendered lesbians, gays go through some I mean shit. If you go into Virginia, you can get fired for being gay at work. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean I'm in several states. It's and, like in Illinois too. And, I mean, it's not just I mean, out of out of the 50 states, only like 30 of them have uh, regulations that prohibit you firing somebody from being gay, lesbian, or transgender. So I definitely understand, or bisexual, or whatever. So I definitely understand that they have issues. Man, but these people also, still getting fired for, for wearing their hair in, in locks. Right. It, it, it's still kids getting getting put out of school and expelled. It's a, a little girl that got expelled for having dreads. So what what are what are these gay civil rights issues that that that, that the gays have? What 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 are are the problems that they face and what is it that they want us to be concerned about? They want discrimination. They want they they want to be able they want to be able to say to their coworker, you know, my husband or my wife or, or whatever and everybody be okay with that. No, it's more than that, too. It's like you get certain rights and privileges as a married couple. You know, uh, you don't want, if you're married to somebody or if you're with somebody, you, you know, if you're not married to them, you can't make end-of-life decisions if you're a homosexual. And, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's important. Also, you know, uh, you got people that discriminate against you in your job, you know, because you're a gay person, you know, you you don't have a right to have a job. Then you got the whole bullying thing, you know, uh, they, you know, they bully uh, homosexuals or people that's just different uh, than, period. you know, period, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, on one hand, you know, I can understand the emotion that African Americans have when uh, you somebody can compare gay rights to to uh, black civil rights, it's not the same thing. But it don't mean that it's not civil rights. Civil rights is to protect everybody from discrimination and to give equality for everybody. It, civil rights is just not 
uh, the black civil rights movement. It's bigger than that. And I, you know, I, I kind of wish that people saw that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's civil rights for handicapped people, it's civil rights for, you know, uh, overweight people, civil rights for a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? So and that's that's the thing that, you know, if you if you stop at somebody's equality, you know, why should, why should you know, a, a man and a, a female married couple not have the same rights as a man and man or a woman and woman? I just, you know, maybe y'all can speak on that, but I don't see I mean, the sense in that. I mean, I'll, I'll, look at it, I'll look at it like this. I mean, <clears throat> do we... Does, does, everybody, does everyone deserve a certain amount of rules? Okay, say... Just because you you six hundred pounds, do you get to sit on half my seat when I get on the airplane? That's corporate, though. I mean, but I mean, but that's that's I mean that's how that's that's how we're looking at it. It's like, do we do we get to a point where we no longer we no longer judge people or or see people as, as their own separate entities and get to the point where we look at people for who they are and say that that's okay. And when we get to the point when we say that, you know, whatever you're doing is okay. If you, if you, if you fucking tend the cat, then that's okay. That's how, that's how a lot of people are seeing it, it as a, um, what if, what is the defining moment? What is the point where we say no, it's no longer okay? And you know, for me, man, I think you know everybody should have the right and and absolutely be respected for their choices. They should have the right, you know, to to choose as they will. And we definitely need to get out of people's bedrooms for certain. Um, you know, if a person come to a job and they doing a job, you know, let that person do their job. And if a person is with us, someone of the same gender, and that person, you know, their loved one is passing away, and um, these kinds of things come into play. Whereas, you know, you have insurances. And whether or not you can make decisions in the hospital. Now, these kinds of things I absolutely think are ludicrous. I think, you know, um, somebody who's in love with somebody should be able to make cho make decisions on behalf of that person. The thing about um, these, um, you know, if you will, gay civil rights, you know, I think a lot of times with gay, with gay people, particularly gay, gay men, um, as opposed to gay women, gay men, man, they are emotional like women to me in a lot of ways. And so when you try to get somebody to respect you, you can't go in there with your heart on your sleeve. You can't go in there with all of your little nuances and your bi Felicia's and all of, you know, the little gay terminologies and these kinds of things that are trendy for gay guys, man. You have to come in there as a man, like how men handle business, how a man would get something accomplished, how King and those people got things accomplished. I think that the way a lot of times gay people go about trying to get something accomplished is wrong. Not to say that just because you go about it wrong don't mean you shouldn't be entitled to those same liberties, but I'm saying that may be one hold up. That may be one clog in their faucet and trying to get this water to run on down but, and it's not trickling down to them in the way that they want because a lot of times <clears throat> they're, they're going about it the wrong way. People are not going to respect you if you don't come at them in a, in, a, in a certain way. That's any of us. So I think a lot of that is owed to the way that they even approach the table. Like, you got to come to the table a different way. That's just my vantage point of it. I'm going to kind of disagree with you, Keith. Well, I see what you're saying, but it sounds a little sexist. Like, you know, it's, it sounds like a diss to women, the way you say men are coming at the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think we got these gender roles. I, I, I'm definitely staying on women being emotional. So if they come across... Everybody's emotional, Keith. Everybody's emotional. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we act like men. I'm not saying... I mean, this ain't a shot to you, but I'm saying, like, we act like men ain't emotional. Men are emotional. But it's because a man comes to the table a certain type of way. Do they not deserve it? So you're saying if it was a woman and she came to the table, you know... Like a woman, she shouldn't be respected. Not I'm going to dismiss an emotional woman at a business meeting the same way I'm going to dismiss an emotional dude at a business well, meeting. Well, then you're going to... Emotion, then you're gonna, emotion ain't got, ain't, ain't, don't play in business. Okay? All right. Then just say that then. I, mean, well, I can't tell you what to say, but I, to me, it was a shot at women. 
if you say, oh, men come to the table all emotional like wrong. women, as Take if... Because that wasn't, that wasn't what I was trying that's to how, That's kind of how you said it. But, uh, like I said, I know you, I mean, fuck it, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not mad at you, I'm just saying it just sounded a certain way. It's a, to me, it's a shot at women. You know what I'm saying? Is that if they can't come to the table uh, or, and be respected, you know, because to me, I feel like, you know, whoever you are, if, if you have facts, you can't argue facts. You can't argue logic. You know what I'm saying? If you come to the table with logic and you don't come to the table, man or woman, if you come to the table like, well, this is, you know, crazy, you're all crazy and stuff, you know, then, yeah, you might not, you, you might not get your, get what you want to get heard. You know what I'm saying? But everybody should be respected and that's what this is all about. You know, everybody should have a right, you know, to have the same equality. Same equality as Sean, same equality as Keith, same equality as George and me, you know. And tonight, I just think it's a travesty. But that's me. This is it's a travesty, but then it gets to the point of where do you draw the line? What's acceptable and what's not acceptable? And although although the United States tries to not be, we try to be very um, we try to be very kumbaya with our religious rights. When it comes to Christianity and when it comes to a lot of religion, not necessarily just Christianity, but as far as uh, Muslim beliefs as well, being homosexual is not is not acceptable. It's not an acceptable thing. For who? For people that believe in those religions. So this country is not built on on those religions. It's not mm -hmm. supposed it to be. It's is. supposed to be. It's, it's not, not supposed to be. But when you have not the Constitution. It, but it, it's not supposed to be. But when you mm -hmm. have in God we trust on your money, which was made in which happened in 1950, and that's not that's against that goes against church and state, don't it? It goes against church and state, but that's who I don't know. Who I don't know. That, that, I don't know if it does though. Okay, I what. Well, it, wow. it, but it, but it does though because when you say in God we trust mm -hmm. on a government not, bill on a on, on, on a government bill it's it's no when when you put things that you value the most where in the U.S. money is valued the most. Well, right there, with, with, with what you just said shows that there is no separation or the separation is hazy at best if you got a government bill that says in God we trust. Already, there's your government and there's your God intermingling. All right. Let, let, okay, so look. Let's talk about, let's talk about first of all, marriage. First, Christianity didn't make up marriage. I don't know if y'all know that, you know, y'all can do your own research, but it's been marriage way before. Right. And even if you do go with Christianity, it's different forms of marriage back then. Well, didn't somebody have a million, uh, a whole bunch of wives? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, oh, you know. Old Testament. Right. So, yeah, all of them had, oh, had three and four and five wives. And so marriage, yeah, so marriage took on different faces, right? You know what I'm saying? So now, and then just think about the government. The government, think of why they even created this this constitution, and why they even got away from the king's hand, from under the king's hand, to come to this country anyway. Right. You know, we are we are a nation of immigrants. All right. So we don't have really one government. You know what I'm saying? We don't have like you know we don't have one religion. There's a million religions. We're, we're a country of immigrants. It's Irish is 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 Jews is. It's every you know is is a lot of different religions over here. So whose religion is right? You know, I, why wouldn't uh, Islam step up and be like, oh no no okay no, it, it has to be it the Islam way and women have to put uh, masks on their face and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whose religion is right? If we're gonna do church or state now, we gotta throw in all the religions and you know how many religions it is? It's over a thousand. Easy. Y'all don't want to deal with Scientology, right? Now, this is what I will give. By far, to me, this is a Christian nation. I get it. 
But this country is not built on Christian principles. This country is built on on universal principles with the Constitution. And freedom of religion is is a cool thing. You have the right to believe. You have the right to not believe. So just because people don't like how, and this is just my opinion, people don't like how gay people, uh, and really it's gay men. You know, I'm sure it's gay women too, but to me, mostly it's gay men. They don't like dick on dick action or dick and booty and all that stuff. You know, just because people don't like that nice uh, graphic, Sean. I want to teach me how to do that. Just yeah, because they the same thing, man. <laughs> that green screen that hit that man got going on over there. But go ahead, Mark. Yeah, just because you don't you don't like it, you know, don't mean you got to legislate it. You know, let's all be equal here. And you go you go to your corner and you be with heterosexual sex. Let the gays do whatever they do. You well, know see, what I'm saying? Like I said already. I mean, at the end of the day, get out of folks' bedrooms. I mean, what? what right. Why? Why is you trying to govern somebody's bedroom? That ain't got nothing to do with nobody's skill set, with their character, with what they can bring to this world, to their family, to their community. Like that's 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 crazy. That's absolutely absurd that you would be trying to govern somebody's bedroom. It's absolutely, con- but see that that is becoming a fact of life, which is what which is one of the next topics I want to move to is Facebook and employment. I'm not sure who's, who saw um, the post that I put up, put up today where Facebook and Twitter and um, various other social websites are being viewed as a way to determine who you are at your job. They've been doing that, bro. They've been doing that for a minute. But that's the same thing as, as looking at who you are personally as far as your religion or your sex. That's like I saying, think that's fair. I, mean, I think that's I mean, fair. To, to look at, to look at and say, oh, this person on Facebook or this person on Twitter is a whore or they're being, they, they walling out in the streets. And they're det- they using those things to determine who you are as a person at work. That's but, unfortunate, but let me say this about that. Where that's different from mon- trying to monitor somebody's bedroom, whatever you put on social media is public knowledge. Mm-hmm. Whatever goes on in your bedroom, not necessarily, and really should not be. So if it's going on in your bedroom, that's different than what you put on Facebook. If you always putting up twerk videos, you always got a glass in your hand on Facebook, on Instagram. It's the same as when, like I like I was telling y'all about, like I absolutely go through your timelines and and look at what you're talking about, like. One, you my friends, but then two, if I'm in, if I'm gonna be in business with somebody, I absolutely want to know what it is that you up to. You represent me as well when you out here, so I want to know what kind of person are you? What are you saying on your page? So if I really own a company, a Fortune 500 company or a Fortune 1000 company, I'm absolutely trying to get all the information I can amass about who you are out here in this world, and if what you're Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all this, all of that's coming up to me and saying to me that that this a hoochie mama. No, nah, baby girl, you can't work for me. Stop posting that bullshit on Facebook. <laughs> I okay. think a lot of people. I think a lot of people have a have a have an issue with. Um, it's it's almost like a it's almost a double edged sword because I think a lot of people have issues with their public and their private lives um, into intermingling um and you know like we like the story about the president of the school i forgot who what school it was i think it was alabama state maybe or a&m yeah, or, alabama state was it alabama state okay um and you know i know that people have an issue with that and saying well you know nobody should be able to watch you know nobody should be able to tell her what to do if but i mean like my thinking is if if you are in a position where you are nobody is an island John Dunn said, "No man is an island, so we, you don't have the, you don't have the capacity or the ability to say that I'm going to do it my way, or um, it's like Tupac say, it's me against the world, and none of that. Nobody, nobody has that, the ability to be able to do that. So you got to understand that there are going to be some people that are going to be uncomfortable with your decisions if you make decisions that affect that directly affect them. Now you say, 
you know, like some of my students say, well, what what have what I do don't matter with to uh, uh, it's this my life. What I do is what I do. But you got to understand something. What you do at either either directly or adversely affects um or indirectly, I should say, affects what other people do. So you can't just make the decision and say, well, I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it, you know, and that's it. Nah, I don't, I don't, I can't agree with that. Me, myself, I didn't necessarily have a problem with, um, and I, I don't think the video would load. I was trying to see the video and I didn't get a chance to pull up an article, but, um, you know, if, if what's being done is that, you know, while this lady is um is serving this this in this position and she's living in she's living in this house that's um funded by the school or 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 um the the state or however that works then absolutely they can put a clause in there saying while you are in this position you are to adhe adhere to whatever whatever the stipulations is and have they in her bedroom she needs to find her another job if she don't want to do that that's exactly right well, I say, I say, I hope they're doing it to man too. If they're doing it to man too, I got no problems with it. Take that three hundred thousand dollars you're gonna get with its limitations. You know, I wouldn't be mad at her at all. You know, I will say okay. this though. I will say this though. You know, if if we if people can just look into your private life, hopefully they can put some context to it because you don't have to put no context to it. You know, <laughs> my my thing is. Well, there is a will, there is a way. So if if the stipulation, and I don't, again, y'all can correct. I don't, I have not read the article. I'm assuming here that she she can't do certain things in the house because it's owned by the school. Can't, is that what it is? She can't have overnight guests. Okay, that's what I thought. Here is the thing: always a way around everything. If you're making three hundred thousand or whatever her salary is, I'm quite sure they got nice, they got nice hotels in Alabama. Sweet Maybe hotels. Go somewhere. make it do what it do. If you making three exactly. three hundred thousand, go get you a hotel room and make it smash. Do what it do over there and go back home to your house that's funded by them good people. Continue to get your three hundred thousand and life is good. Why? Is, that ain't no problem. That ain't no issue. Y'all sure that's the only? You sure that's the only issue? I thought she couldn't. I yeah. thought she couldn't date. Oh no, no. I don't think you said she that. can. She can date. She just can't bring nobody home. And this is my thing. If you are, if you're in the position that this chick is, which is pre president of college, right? Yes. She's the new president. Yes. You should be with a certain kind of man. This is just me. This is just me. It, I I feel like a, a woman of a certain caliber should have a man of a certain caliber. So where this nigga house said, go to his house and smash. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Hey, I, hey I'm, stu the I'm stupid, y'all. I'm stupid because I just she's be single people, though. Like, when people say stuff like that, I just be thinking, I just get like a visual. So when you said that, I was just thinking about like, what if she just picked up a nigga from like, <laughs> nigga, 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 when she was just at Hooters or some shit, nigga at the bar like, man, so what you doing tonight? He like, what she, she like, shit, come on back to the presidential suite. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, which, like, which is, where, which is where what are, happens. So she happened. asked him, she like, well, where you where you live at? That nigga like, oh, I live off Jefferson Street. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. no. Oh, no. You can come <laughs> to my crib. Get... Right. Yeah. Uh, like I said, if they're if, if they doing this with guys, if they're doing it with guys, too, if a single man can do this, act, it, it has the same stipulations, I'm cool with it. Take it with the limitations. But if they're doing it. got to be treated equally. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I think. I think Sean being funny, though. But. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm asking, I'm posing. That was actually oh, a question. Yeah. But, oh, okay, okay, I, yeah. I think that I think that it, that is the concern because if it was a single male, white or black, if it was a single male president, they wouldn't have those stipulations. And and um, I th I think that that's the whole point because. Women, I mean, even I mean, as as much as we try to make it equal, which it, it's not. Even though we try to make it equal, it's it's not it's not the same. We hold never be. we hold that's what women, that was my thought. We hold, so it ain't we never hold gonna be. women we hold women to a higher regard than men. Men, men can be men can be whores, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> 
totally disagree with this, but go ahead. Unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately and unfortunately, men can be whores. What's but your for disagreement? Women, for a woman, woman, women are considered uh... to be held to a higher standard, and they shouldn't do things like that. And And that's the whole point of the conversation is they put this stipulation in her contract to protect themselves against her uh, wilding out, making a name, or uh, making a name for herself. From making while she while she under their name. Pretty much. That's the whole point. But see, here it, herein lies a, another component to that because, like, we just got to talking about the social media. Quite surely, when somebody hires you to be the president of a university, they vet you very well. So, if if something in her, if something within all of you looking at her social media, whatever she submitted, talking to her references, if it didn't come up that she's sleazy easy, then what's the problem? Like a lot of this, <laughs> you will get when you're doing this vetting. So you will get some some semblance of knowledge. If she, you know, most people are gonna slip up somewhere. So you will get some semblance of knowledge that maybe this 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 chick loose. We might need to put a rein on her. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation may be. And I'm just saying that that's a whole nother element to it. If they if they've done their due diligence, then it wouldn't have been a need in my in in, in, in my opinion for this stipulation in her contract if they vetted her properly. Well, I mean, as um, I would say as uh, what they do, they ran for president against Barack Obama his first uh, his first term. Herman Herman Cain? Yeah, no. Herman Cain. You talking uh, about uh, okay, the white dude, John right? The white John, dude, McCain. John McCain. John McCain. How can not think of John McCain? I, I, I ask him about the vetting process. Because Sarah Palin is one old hoochie mama, and she got hoochie mama in her family. Hoochie mama run deep in her family. How we know she was um, a hoochie mama? Uh, and why does it matter if she a hoochie mama? Well, huh? Bill Clinton was a, a hoochie daddy. Bill Clinton mm -hmm. was a hoochie daddy, but we don't care that Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton had chicks on top of chicks on top of chicks as as. as wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Mark. Are you are you are you talking about the equality of men and women to be contrary, or do you really believe like that men and women? Man, look, they look. should be treated exactly the same. They should be held to the same in the same regard. Like you really? Why you not? Really, yeah, why, I do. Why, why, I do. Why, but why I, should they be held to the same regard? Look, I believe that they should because if you going in, if you go into office. You're using your brain, using your mind, just like a man is doing. What are what are they doing different in a president? I'm not in, suggesting, in a I'm not, but I think we, I think maybe we're talking about two different levels. I'm not suggesting that like a woman should be paid less if she's doing the same job as a man. I'm just saying like it's certain things. I think we're getting I think we're getting a a little off, you know, off the tangent, off on the tangent as it relates to that because, and it's about semantics. Like I think he's I think George is saying one thing. And maybe Keith was saying something, you know, saying one thing too. But I, what I'm, what I'm hearing, I think, is that men and women uh, can be treated equally, but not the same. Like, or that there are different expectations of men, of man and woman. And I think that that's, I, I think that that's only fair, because I don't think that we were created to be the the same. Like, I think that, I think it's fair to say that they should be treated equal. And in, in the regard that you don't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do anything to disrespect either gender, but you don't just, I just don't think that you treat the man, a man and a woman exactly the same. Like I don't think that you do for one what you do for the other because the reaction is going to be different. Mm. All right, so like, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's kind of like children. Like I don't think you can treat mm -hmm. your, I don't think you can treat all of your children exactly the same because I don't think that they are the same. But that's what if you got two boys and a girl? Uh, my my point is this: if we're talking about sex, we're talking about if we. George kind of made a point that women should have a higher standard sexually than a man, right? I don't say I don't, I'm not saying that they should. I'm saying that they are. They are. They are. Put but to that's a not that, standard. That's not cool to me. Me personally, that's me personally because I think we do a lot of sexual shaming. And that's why people got to go into a closet, man. It's re it's that repression. I talked about it on Facebook the other day. You know what I'm saying? If you're a freak and all that other stuff, 
you know, I don't feel like you should have to hide because, like, for example, this dude who, uh, Wiener, showing dick pics. Mm -hmm. I mean, that didn't matter to me. I mean, I understand people get emotional and sensitive about it. My thing is, could he do the job? If Hillary Clinton let mm -hmm. some white chick eat a box, you know, man, you it don't matter to me. I don't even mean to cut you off, but you if you are in the public eye, man, you can't be sending pictures of your dick to people, man. That's just not acceptable. I don't care if you I don't care nothing about what he does. Nigga, nobody would have never known. If that chick, if that chick, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, Mark, you know this how big of a sports fan I am. We talk about this all the time. I don't care if Marv Albert bit that chick's shoulder blade off. If she would have never came out. We would have never known about the whole Marv Albert incident years ago when that happened. Right. He's one of the greatest. He's one of the greatest sports announcers in the history of sports, in my opinion. So we're not talking about we're not talking about something, you know, whether whether or not somebody can do the job. We're talking about the fact that that when you're in the public eye, there's certain things you can't you can't go overboard and do crazy stuff and think like, oh well, you know, nah, I'm not going to get caught. I mean, we go into a little different conversation. I'm, I'm talking about this. I'm speaking more of this whole this woman from Alabama State. If she was a freak or whatever, if she didn't get caught, or she she shouldn't have to. Not to say that this is why she's getting those rules. I personally think, and this is just an opinion and assumption, that she might be gay or homosexual, and that's that's why they locked the rules in there. Like, hey, don't bring that, don't bring that girl back to the home. You know, then that goes to back oh. to the first conversation we were having. Oh. But that's just my assumption. But my thing is, a woman should be able to be sexually free, you know, as long as she ain't putting it out there or whatever. Me, me personally, I got different sensitive sensibilities. So Anthony Weiner, uh, uh, Bill Clinton, you know, or some other thing probably not won't bother me. So I understand if it bothers the public. Yeah, do what you got to do. Shut it down or whatever. But a woman who had not did anything yet, you know what I'm saying? If you guys, are, if, they're, if they're doing that because she's a lesbian, it's just shame on Alabama State. But, you know, I mean, she she signed on for it. You know, cool. I hope that they do it, do it for a man. I'm an HBCU, you know, fanatic. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard nothing, so I ain't really got nothing to say about it. But, I mean, I just want, I, I hope you guys will see it one day, you know, that women and men are held to different standards with societal gender roles. And it's a new day. It's a new day, y'all. And Sean, <laughs> we all know it. We see it. You know, it's a new day that I think women need to be treated and talked to, talked about a little bit differently, and not in these old, you know, old school ideas or these old school ways. But that's me. I mean, but but my my thing is, I mean, that that is. We gonna have to, we gonna, George, George, G, we're going to have to move along, man. We're going to have to move yeah. along on that. Are there any other issues before we move from issues um, like um, marijuana, Obamacare? Anybody care to discuss any of those kinds of things, immigration, before we move on to the next subject matter? Uh, I want to get – I want to I, I, I wanna keep – did you get Obamacare yet? No, nah, that, that's under issues which which falls in with what we're doing now. So if anybody gets okay. the issues like Obama, they, they want to talk about, let's 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 go ahead and beat them up now. Uh, Ob Obamacare, Obamacare is something you need to get on. You need to get on, you need to get on the bus. <laughs> you need to get on the bus. If you ain't got on the bus already, get on the bus. Checkmate. If you don't have. If you don't have health care, if you can't get sick, get on the bus. Hey, is tell the, that nigga. Is the bus is the bus fixed yet? Is is the bus moving? Ain't no need for me to get on a bus that ain't going nowhere, brother. The bu the bu the bus Great was the bus was fixed a long time ago. Yeah, that's on you to know, Keith. Come on now, man. You ain't, the bus ain't from Georgia to tell you. The bus was fixed a long time ago. It's not like, it's not like, honestly, the the pro the problem isn't the problem isn't having the problem isn't having health care. Once you get health care, there is something that you can't imagine. It, you can't imagine going to the hospital. Six months ago, I was really, I was really, really sick. Okay, I mean, I mean, really, really sick. 
I had I had a great health care plan, which my I, mean, I was I was in the hospital for a month, and my bill for a month I didn't have surgery. I was just in the hospital laying in bed for a month. My bill was one hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. Out of that bill, I had to pay. Thirteen hundred. I had to pay thirteen hundred dollars out of one hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars in bills. Mm. I had to pay thirteen hundred dollars. That was it. Get on the bus. <laughs> hey yo 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 yo! My bag. I have to take out that Elmo ass sweater I had on. What? Hey, Keith, get on that goddamn bus though. You heard him. Anybody fucking around here? I promise you when I promise you what we done with this brother, I'm getting on the bus as if Spike Lee put me on it. Yeah, you know, boy, that's what we talk I'm, about. I'm tell yes. People, you don't get on the bus. I mean, it's not it can be hard, just like most things. <laughs> Pause. Get it, I mean, going through <laughs> going through I mean going through these whether you have a state health care exchange or whether you have a Republican government if you have a uh, Republican governor, most likely you don't have a state health care exchange. You have to go through the government health care exchange. Whatever it takes, get on the bus. Get on the bus in 2014, nigga. Because when you get sick, if there's an issue with your health, you hear him? You 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 either gonna pay for it or you not? Or not, nigga. Nah. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta be in that camera oh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George ain't okay, playing okay. here. All right, let's no, 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 of what we want to see in 2014. Mm. We get on that goddamn bus in 2014. Get on the bus. Number my one, get on the bus. Get you some health care. Get you my some G. insurance. Right. Basically. Basically, basically. Yeah. Get, you, get you some insurance. I don't care if you're going through a state health exchange or you're going through Obamacare. Well, technically, Obama, if you're going through the government exchange, get on the bus. Get you some health care. Is it, is it marijuana on the bus? Uh, Need to be. If you I'll fight if for you it. in Colorado, if you in Colorado, marijuana is on the bus. Shit. If you in if you in several states, marijuana is on the bus. But uh, I got Molly. I got white. I got. Oh my bad. Oh my bad too. <laughs> we on that bus though, man. Okay. We so, on that bus. Twenty fourteen. Speaking of of getting on the bus, there were there was uh, a list. There was a list put on the mail room today about issue about um <laughs> the um the hot the, the hot statements of twenty twenty thirteen. By Felicia is still my favorite. <laughs> I, use it in context. I don't know the context of that one. Um <laughs> by Felicia. <laughs> uh, like you just talking to somebody and all of a sudden by Felicia. Bob. It's like it's, what, the 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 concept behind it is what you're talking about is irrelevant. Um, oh, okay. You can it came, move it came, it came from what movie was that? Uh, Friday. Friday. That's Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's a dismiss. That's that's a dismissive statement. Just like when yeah. somebody's talking and they ain't talking about nothing. He, Chris Smokey told her that when she asked him if she could borrow her VCR, <laughs> borrow his VCR, she needed to double tape. <laughs> oh, I thought so it was he something was like Bible ish. Damn, I'm late. My bag. I, I ain't you know, even. You know how on uh, um American Idol they be having the Coke cups. I'm gonna get us some mail room cups. Yeah, out of uh, key uh, pocket. Uh, uh, uh. Brushing this weak ass fade like Chicago and poetic justice. <laughs> hey, look though. Yeah, I was just about to say that, man. I know. Oh, hey, look! Oh, when we get back, when we get back to LA, I'm gonna get my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, on some real talk, man. Who kill him was my favorite one this uh, of last year. Hey, who kill him? 
Ooh, Ooh killer. killer. And when they made that song, man, that was my favorite. I, I can't even that lie. That was the song? For real? They made a song, too, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just like they use it on Vine. Y'all watch Vine? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Whatever people post on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they, they put it in a lot of Vine videos, and, they, you know, it's funny to me. And I, I like Turned Up and Ratchet, too, man. Those are my favorite, man. Well, Ratchet, Ratchet, Ratchet defined a whole bunch of things that we had not necessarily defined before. We said it was ghetto before. Ratchet is it, the next level of ghetto. Because they're in ghetto and then they're in Ratchet. Because Ratchet is, Ratchet to me is, um, Ratchet is riding around in a Pinto. And then, no. That's ghetto too. Ghetto, ghetto is riding around in a Pinto. Ratchet is riding around in a Pinto with Gucci on. So it defined <laughs> it defined a certain level of ghetto to me. So Ratchet took over for Bougetto. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of yes, kind of yes. Okay, I like Ratchet, man. What you think, Sean? What was your words? Of 20, 2013. Oh, definitely turn up. <laughs> or turned up with a T. Yeah, Where I like this. Oh, yeah, turn, shorty, I'm turned, so. Turned, hey, so. <laughs> That part was turned, so. I, I know. I would hear. I would hear niggas from Atlanta say that, man. That'd be funny. <laughs> turn, turn, up, up, turn up. Turn up. Did that song? Did that song all the way turn turn up? Uh, turned up. Start the start the whole saying that all the oh, way. That's how I know too. That's probably about three or four years old. Yeah, that's all. That, that word been out for a minute. Yeah, but ain't that a DC song? Uh uh-uh, uh. That's no, that, um. Roscoe Dash. DJ turn me up. That shit was going hard though. Them kids <laughs> love that song. I live too though. Yeah. On some real shit. But See, man, I bet you they love that song. I don't, listen, I don't, listen, I don't listen to enough ratchet music in my life. I have to. I have to start listening to more ratchet music because I don't. Yeah, I don't you better get down. So what y'all got? Who, now that we on music, what y'all got going on for music? What's up? I don't let's go one. Let's go one choice at a time. Uh. Let's go ahead, go start off, time. George. Let's go one uh, at a time more. What you say? Uh, let's do it one at a time. Like ha- we might have, I got like five choices, but for me, we- oh my God, for me, there are two things. White people gonna come up and rap in 2014. They've been coming up. They've been coming up, but but I don't know if y'all heard Mac Miller. Mm-hmm. Mac Miller, his shit. Oh my God, Mac Miller. Did his damn thing in, in 2013. He got a couple things with um, with people on the West Coast. As but far- see, Mac Miller ain't new to this. He been around for a minute, G. He been around for a minute, but he ain't he ain't blown up yet. I think y'all talking about Mac Lamore. Mac Miller been out for just just a couple of years. No, talking about Mac, no, Mac, talking, Mac, about, talking about Mac Miller, the white he boy. He's talking about He's Mac Miller. Mac Lamore. Mac Lamore is not rap. Macklemore is special. That's special to me. Oh, wow. Why is he not rap? He is rap, rap, though. Why is he not rap? He he definitely is rap, George. Yeah, he rapping to me. Macklemore? Yeah, Macklemore. Why is Macklemore rap to y'all? Shit, he's rap. Yeah, he's rap. That's what he do. That song, Three Shot Wet Bad. The song, uh, uh, what's the other one after that? Oh, with that big dude singing? Yeah, boy, that's how I get you. Yeah, boy. He popped. He popped, but he definitely is rap. Well, what's rap? Let me ask you this. What's rap? I'm sorry. Because that's subjective. You know. It it is very subjective. What's rap to you? For me, rap rap is. Oh, my God. Well, Well, I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm old school. So when I think of rap, I think of. <laughs> I think I think rap is more hip hop than than rap is today. All right, rap. so what's not rap then? Yeah, you probably can answer that easier. What's not rap? Uh, Obviously, Mac Lamore. Soulja Boy ain't rap. Uh, Mac Lamore on certain terms it ain't rap. 
Um, See, to me, let me say, let me tell you how I would define it. See, to me, Macklemore, and who was the other person that you said? Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy and Macklemore, and I'm not really familiar with Macklemore, but they say he raps. So, to me, that's rap. Soldier Boy, Macklemore, that's rap. Hip hop is the culture. And I don't think, and, and I guess at a point, um, Soldier Boy was a trend in the culture, but he doesn't represent the culture as a whole. And when, when I think hip hop, I think, Wu, I think Snoop, I think these kinds of guys, that to me represents hip hop because to me they represent the culture, whereas Macklemore to me seems one off. Like, okay, I'm going to play with this for a minute, then I might do something else. Kind of like how Pink came into the game, and I still don't like Pink to this day for this, to me, because it's like she used us. She came in the game on some old R&B ish, and then she quickly on that second album went straight pop. So, like, Macklemore, to me, is like that same thing. Like, let me use this to get in here to do this. Like, that, that's, to me, that's rap. Macklemore been in the game for, like, 10 years, man. And he finally popped. All some independent shit. He did it too. Sh he did it, He did it the way Master P and Too Short them did it. You know how much money he caking up? I mean, that's neither here nor there. But, shit, that nigga been in here two, 10 years. Niggas didn't even touch his album. I, so now he just uh, popped out all of a sudden. And I'm I'm upset that you put Master P and Tupac in the same sentence, but that's a whole different story. Too short. Hey man, I love uh, Master P, man. I I fight to the death of Master P, man. I, I know you that. will. I know you will. Uh, and unfortunately, <laughs> I know you. Will. Master P was good music, man. <laughs> man, Master P was not good music. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Subjective again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Subjective. I, I, I can't... <laughs> I came from Mac, P. Master P to me is Master P was a um, experiment experiment in trying to find solace in music. Hello, can I speak to Pete? <laughs> Pete ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look though, no. look, Master P was a voice for he was it was a voice that wasn't really heard. You know what I'm saying? In New Orleans, you know and, they finally and what, and what, they finally what, showed. What, huh? what was that? that was that voice that yo, we here to stay, and we've here to take take over the game, and we here to change the game. Master P changed the game, and they showed you how to do it. That in, the independent game was stupid. Like, Man, they, they changed they the way changed, that they, they changed. changed. They changed. What the I can say real. about Master P and that whole New Orleans clique was they changed. The way you do distribution and how you do distribution. And see that I was gonna I was gonna bring that up later too, man. That to me that went and that's good that y'all said that about um, the way um, Master P and all of them opened up that whole um, um, movement. You know what I'm saying to to go that route independent. And and to me a similar thing happened um, with Beyonce when you changed the model. Of how people think about how to put the music out there, um, she she changed the game to me. Now, mind you, she ain't the first person to really do what she did. She's the first person of her caliber to do what she did. Right. But um, she 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 changed the game in a major way, man. So you're gonna start seeing a lot of people uh, release albums like full albums for free or for three dollars. I mean, like it's, it's it's really gonna be this whole thing where people are gonna start. It may work in the favor of the consumer, I think they're going to start giving the consumer more for their money. Like when she added these videos, I think people are going to give you, you know, if it had started a while back with these hidden tracks, it's, if you it, go it, to Target, it, then you get the, more songs than if you went to Walmart and bought it. It's the same kind of thing, but she just upped the ante. And I think now um, people realize they can take the machine out of it to some degree. Now, mind you, the machine is still there because Beyonce and her people still had to um, get get that paperwork signed off by I, the good folks at iTunes. Like, you know, it's still business to be done, but the model definitely shifted when she dropped how she dropped. Because, I, I mean, I, and I can definitely agree, Keith, because Prince released a album just like Beyonce released um, this last visual album. Prince released the album on um, that was through his own distribution when he got rid of Warner Brothers. And he went he went on and released the album without promotion and all that. 
and nobody really cared, but he released it, and a whole bunch of singles off there went platinum. So it's not like that it hasn't been done before, but it's it she did it in an era where she was at the height of her career and and, that's and press what, didn't press wasn't at the height of his career when he did mm -hmm. he wasn't at the height of his career when he no nope. mm -hmm. ain't too many people but beyonce that can probably sierra can't do this name name the next hottest girl or name the next hottest maybe erica, Nicki erica, maybe do, erica, who? erica badu could do it erica badu can't no. do, can't do it on a level with beyonce in terms of selling no, millions no, of no, copies in, in the first hour ain't nobody even it. really checking for erica badu right now for real i, like, am, I am have I you am seen her have you seen Erica Badu body? Oh my I'm God! Erica, we, but we talking, we talk, okay, y'all talking about body. I'm talking about music. Like I'm checking for her music. Like she dropped the album. Like we, so you say y'all saying us, but we diff, we some different dudes, man. Like I, I would, I would check for it, but everybody, everybody is not checking for grandmas. Ain't really checking for Badu. Grandmas is checking for for Beyonce. Grandmas, right. no, mamas. Yeah, yeah, I that's agree. With you. Generations of people, man, that's checking for Beyonce for real. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, though, so we going, so we got uh in 2014, we got uh turned up, we got by Felicia, we got what's what's that? What else we got? Ooh, Ooh, kill him. Ooh, Ooh, kill kill him. Kill him. Ooh, kill him. What's your saying, Keith, for 2014? For 2014. I mean 2013. I'm sorry. 2013. What's what, what's saying? What was your favorite saying? That was a question uh, today. Uh, probably miss me with that. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm I'm real dismissive, man. So so I'm quick to be like miss me with that. I, I, yeah. You know, kind of oh, like man. bye Felicia. So bye, bye <laughs> okay. Felicia and miss me with that. Mm -hmm. And music. Who you got, Keith? Who you want to see this year in 2014? Man, I'm really looking forward to this um, Tony Braxton Babyface comp um, duet album. Um, Are you really? You really looking for that, Keith? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm looking for. I kind of, I kind of am too. You don't like that single, George? Dude, I mean, that single is like, cold. I like, I like Tony, but I think she, I think she passed her prime. I think she needs to sit it down. I think she nah, needs like to that. sit it down and take like care that of that, song. take care of her child. I, 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 I just really Tony, think, that, Tony kids about grown now, man, ain't they? <laughs> they about, they about thirteen. The thing, the, the, so she needs to be, and the thing about she needs to be, she like, needs to be focusing on putting him in college. She needs to be putting her last look. She needs to take her money out the out the business. Let me tell you something. In, in a four hundred one k. Or she needs to put it in a retirement plan. You a tough crowd, boy. Dude, boy, you took the words right out of my mouth. You want to take somebody lively? You want to take somebody lively? Put that money. She needs to put that money in an annuity. Boy, boy, do you think too much like me? I was just about to say that. Boy, George, you ain't a tough crowd, boy. She needs to put that money in an annuity and let it build up so she can put her kids in college. She needs to just sit it down. Hey. Go ahead. She needs to, I mean, seriously, at this point, as far as her family is concerned, um, I really think she needs to She need to sit it down and let Tamar take her little dude. I think Tamar got didn't get enough. She got, Ta Tamar, Ta Tamar got, a totally different artist than Tony, though, man. I'm talking about totally different. Not really. Mm -hmm. To me, oh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else you checking for? Who else you checking for, Keith? I'm also checking for man this um this new Mariah Carey album, The Art of Letting Go, man. And the reason why, because I got a feeling she gonna hit us in the same way she hit us with the Memoirs album. Like, she, this album is coming after she's had a couple mishaps in the public as far as that idol situation. People kind of count her out, and people always come back hard when their back is against the wall. And I think she feels like at this point, you know, people have forgotten her, and that's kind of what happened. She came back with that Memoirs of Mimi or whatever that album was. When she came out with that, it was after a lot of things had happened in her career that didn't necessarily necessarily go probably as her and her people would have liked and she came back hard so I think she's gonna come back in much the very same way with this album and just kill the game um, another person I'm checking for is Janae Aiko 
and I know more really likes Jay. Uh, so man, Baby. she she oh. shining, shining, shining. She so killing the game. That album is if you haven't heard that <laughs> joint, that album is vicious. Hey and George, not get it twisted. George, I like that. I like when she used the way she used that Jay Z verse when she's like, "Everybody like, please don't like him. He's no <laughs> item. He don't wife him. He one nights him." I didn't listen though, and I don't know the rest of that shit. But she, hey, she go in on that shit, man. Just, she, hey, that she, album, she's cool. that album is that album is boss. Please do not. I mean, it's so much between that, and I really think we go. We we really have to pay attention to what's coming out of the West Coast this year. Is I mean, of course, the East Coast always going. I mean, the East Coast always gets its props for what's coming out. But the West Coast, especially um, Frank Ocean, supposed to be um, reliving his debut success. He's supposed to be reliving that this year. Um, the South with Outkast trying to do a re, uh, trying to pull out a tour and maybe a new album. It, 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be about w what's going on in the South and the West Coast. We ain't never getting that Outkast album. You might as well go on and get about that. I think it's gonna be whack, man. I think they're gonna rush it and do something quick. But I hope it's not, because I'm an Outkast fan. But of course, I, I, I kind of think between what you said, Mark, and what you said, Sean, either you're not gonna get it or you're gonna get something that you don't really want. Right. I yeah. think they might just want to let well enough be, honestly, because they should. They yeah, they got I, three I classic albums, man. The hype is so that they'll never live up to what we what we want anyway. Never. Like the Fuji. As an artist, as an artist, yeah. you can't you can't you know what I'm saying? Gauge what the fans want. You have to be true to what your art is and make your art. But I really do believe that the expectation is so high that them guys are gonna fail our expectations. So mm -hmm. I just I really feel like they should just. Do they look tour, make their little money, do a song here and there. But as far as a full lift album, like, you know, they could do a song or two here and there for a movie soundtrack or this kind of thing. But as far as a full Outkast album, I don't think it's going to ride. So, hey, so, I just found, so, so, I just found I mean, out yesterday. So, that's why I said we should, we, should, we should just give up on Lauryn Hill. We should just say, Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm not, I, I like the last couple of songs she put out. Well, no. see, Lauren, 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 man, I don't know because you know she she she's back on her grind now, and in videos I've seen recently since she's been out of um jail, um she, the show that she did in New York, man, she was stellar. She was in good voice, the way she looked. I mean, she she seemed like she was in it to win it more so mm. than what I've seen in the past, man, where she was kind of loose <laughs> and 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 on some tangent of a diva. You know, I think if Lauren Hill got, and, and I think her mind is going in the right place. I don't think she's quite there, but I absolutely believe. Um, with the right people around Lauren Hill, she could do it again, bro. I absolutely believe Lauren could do it again, but but she got to have the right energy around her. I'm not giving up on no artist, man. It's, it's art at the end of the day. I'm not, you know, Luther Vandross was good was till, he, till he died to me. That last song, excuse me, miss, da da da. I don't remember the song, how it went, but he was good. He was good damn it, until he died. You know what I'm saying? Lauren, cause I think it's better for singers than rappers. You know what I'm saying? It's tough to go into new albums. But see, the thing is, that's why I'm so. That's why I am glad that Beyonce did what a lot of artists have done before, because it's about your fans, it's about your core audience. You know what I'm saying? You get your core audience up. I mean, it don't matter about being pop. It don't matter for Outkast. They gonna always. They can always do shows today, a hundred years old. You know what I'm saying? So I mean. I'm not giving up on none of them, man, because there might be some gems that I like, you know what I'm saying? But in terms of being pop and pop culture, yeah, I mean, they done. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I, I hey, think that might have been a that might have been a bad um a bad a bad choice of artist though, because that little Andrew song, that excuse me, miss wasn't no bad song, but that 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 didn't come close to a house is not a home. home. But we talking about we talking about pop culture to give me a reason. So it's like so what I, I was thinking that. as soon as you said that as soon as you said that you know what I was thinking I was thinking about Jordan. Like you said it was good. Like Jordan was good with the Wizards, but he wasn't Jordan with the Bulls. We he talking about twenty points a game. Like but he was not, good, but he. But did you forget good. I said? Did you forget I said that 
in terms of pop culture, yeah, they're done. Like Luther Vandross was done in terms of being on that level. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you still right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you got your yeah. core audience. So that's why I, that, no doubt. that makes my point that even when Luther Vandross did excuse me missing it wasn't a house that got a home, I still rock with that. I'm part of no his doubt. core audience. That he was he did that for. You know what I'm saying? He ain't mm-hmm. gonna be in the top maybe twenty in an urban hip hop contemporary contemporary, you know what I'm saying, station like 92Q, I use that Nashville station for example. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, he's probably going to be played on the, uh, the station that play like soul music a lot. You know, they're doing that a lot, you know what I'm saying, in different uh, cities. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, pop culture is done. You know what I'm saying? Worry about your core audience. This is how you make money to you 100. You know what I'm saying? This is what hip- a lot of hip-hop is about, man. You, you don't have to work a regular job. You get your core audience, you satisfy them. I got um I got I got three more people I'm gonna add I wanna add to um what I'm checking for. Um, okay. first would be Rico Love. I really, really feel that they don't know something. Yeah, that, that's that's that that's song that song dope. What he's saying yeah. and like that's some that's some next level thinking. So um Rico Love, also the weekend, man. I, I really, really dig the weekend and I love that he didn't really blow. This first time around, he kind of got a niche little, little, little audience, and he got yeah. really, bro. I like that he didn't just really be huge off the bat. I, I like, I, I like when artists are able to slow, slow grind to success. And I see the weekend being around for a while, cause he got. I mean that EP man, it's one of them things like you, it, it, it's it's good smash music. Man, you put that thing on, and you can just go on and, and do what you got to do. Right. You got to be getting up, changing, pushing, fast forward. It's man, you you in it to win it when you put that on. And lastly, man, uh, the big homie Pusha T putting out on uh, King Push this 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 year allegedly. So I I, I man, I'm a Chris uh-huh. fan and I love Pusha T. So I'm <laughs> definitely interested in hearing this King Push album. Yeah. <laughs> Push the T is just like two chains. I don't even. I don't need to hear neither one of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah, baby. You <laughs> said knock them down, baby. I don't. I don't need to hear. But speaking of people who need to move on in their life, uh, let it. This whole thing with reality TV. I love reality TV. My, you going to my? Hey, folks, ain't even said what they got to say about music, G. Sean ain't no, doing yeah. nothing. Music. Sean ain't ain't put his two in. M- my man Mark ain't put his two in. Hold up, swole up. Well, well, <laughs> well, 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 Mark, Mark, do, Mark, do your thing. What you want to do about music? All right, all right, all right. So music in 2014. <laughs> uh, said, hold up, swole up. <laughs> I don't get. I don't got too many. Uh, I don't got too many popular artists. Uh, but I'm gonna go. I, I started off with two popular artists. I want to hear. Uh. Well, first of all, I think 2014 should be the year of the collaborations in rap and R&B. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, we, did like, that. I, we did that in I like, 2012. I, I like, I like the, like I said, I'm, I'm not uh, really looking forward to the baby face and uh, and Tony Braxton thing, no. but I'm glad they're doing it. I'm glad they're doing it. Uh, I want to see some rappers, especially old rappers, get together and do 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 some collaboration. Uh, uh, Red, so you looking for Red and Math to come back with something? Yeah, I think I, I mean no, no, I'm not looking for them really. But uh, you know, what I'm saying like oh, I like to see for Wu Tang. Then you would look for the Wu Tang. Wu can come back. I like to, I like to see a Ray Ray Kwan Ghostface album. Wu is supposed to be dropping his album in like April or May. I would love to have a uh, a Ray Kwan Ghostface album. That Ragu album they're supposed to do in 2004 or something like that. They do that in uh end of the year, but I don't think I'm going to get that. But anyway, let me go on my list. Uh, so I, w- I want to hear something new from Kendrick Lamar. I want to see him follow up the success of uh, Good Kid, Mad City. Uh, and he killed that album to me. You know, I'm not, I, I don't love the album, but I really, really like the album. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him follow up that success. I love his flow patterns. I love, uh, I love the energy he gives off. Uh, so yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Sean not, is not going to believe this, but I'm looking forward to J. Cole. Uh, oh, oh, my God. I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't really liked the first, I, 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 didn't, I never hated the first two albums. You know, I was, I'm not I a big did. fan of J. I Cole. I'm not, I'm not a big fan too. I'm yeah, I'm not a big fan of J. Cole, but I still want to give him a chance, man, because, you know, I see something in him, man. I just don't feel like his voice, you know, it's just, you know, what, what Kendrick Lamar does to me. 
J. Cole does the opposite. I kind of get bored with him. I'm like, you know, I don't believe him in his songs. It's nothing that enthralls me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm looking forward to J. Electronica. Don't think I think that's gonna be on some detox shit. We ain't getting that though. Um, no. On some underground shit, I might lose y'all here. Maybe George. I'm sure not George. Maybe. But I'm looking forward to J. Davy to come out with a new album. I love oh my word. God, J. Davy. J. Davy last two albums were. Vicious. Crazy, dope, dope, dope. Crazy R and B group. Uh, you can't even really classify them R and B. They so they electro. They they rock. They, they do it all. Man, and I love the girl voice. Make me want. Excuse me, my, my I got my fiance here, but make me. I want to fuck her every time I hear her sing. You know what I'm saying? That's just an emotion. <laughs> but uh, I mean, and her words, man, crazy. Uh, I'm looking forward to NF Doom. This is some underground hip hop. Are you serious? You. I no, love I kind mean, I kind of remember Doom. They they do they do they do a bit much sometimes. They do they do a little extra, but um, they they really on they are really on the level of like doing that whole um, Donnie and and doing um, a whole bunch of Jay Dilla, Jay Dilla shit that they do the most, but. I think they could come with something like really stellar that that will be um, something that everybody want to listen to. Yeah, I, I, hey MF Doom, I'm going to disagree with you with that, George. Uh, I think MF Doom, man, he 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 got his following. It's a cult following. Very obscure. Punchlines are crazy. You kind of you it, it, he like Wu Tang in that it take five years. You be like, oh snap, that's what he's talking about. Like, cause he he's so intricate with his flow and the beat the beats he chooses and you know sometimes you yeah you, know, you can predict certain people's rhymes you can predict that what it, big rhyme would stick or something like that with him you don't know where he's going with it and it's just so cool hopefully he get with Mad Lib and do a new Mad Villain two album I heard they got tracks done you know so yeah. MF Doom is what I'm, MF Doom is definitely what I'm looking forward to uh, Danny Brown out of Detroit. He crazy, you know what I'm saying? Definitely looking. For, I didn't like his last album. I need him to come back in 2014 with that high voice. Uh, I saw him live this year. He, he tore it down. Uh, so Danny Brown. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm predicting that Detox will drop the fourth quarter of this year. Hmm. I'm predicting what, what, that. <laughs> what 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 is informing this prediction? I just think it's time, man. Like he, he's hot with the, he, he's relevant because he's headphones, and I think that it might be getting his juices flowing. You know, he got competition, and now he got competition with other headphone brands like Monster and all these other headphone brands coming out now. You know what I'm saying? Skull Candy, and so you know, the I feel like he's an outcast, and the words are outcast. <laughs> no, no, buddy, no sir, no, no sir. sir. No sir. All right. No, we can put we can put a friendly little wager. We already been twenty. Speaking, speaking, yes, speaking, yes, speaking, yes. speaking of mermaids, like this this detox album, will D'Angelo ever resurface again? Hell I think no. so. I, I think said, so. I I said hell no. He, he working with Quest Love a little. He been working with Quest Love yeah. a little. So I mean, I, maybe not this year, been but next year. For the last two years, and we ain't seen. Nah, D'Angelo been kind of hurting, man. He been he been on some drunk shit. He been on some. He been on some drunk. I'm smoking my 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 shit shit. That's right. Let, let's not end with some drunk ish. That might do in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. uh, let me finish this list out. I'm uh Eric Robeson coming out with two new CDs. Uh, yeah, well, no, Eric, one of the, one of the gonna, greatest. Eric gonna always do his thing, but he's still gonna be. Eric will never under the be radar. Popular. Yeah, he will yeah. never be as popular as he would. As he's never gonna be mainstream. And that's okay with me. I, I give okay two, with me too. No fucks given. I I really enjoy his music. Uh, so yeah, Eric Robeson coming out with a brand new CD uh, album this year and a, a greatest hits like album. Uh, Sean gonna hate this one because he uh, has all the greatest hits. Well, I'm sorry, it's, it's not a greatest hits. It's a one with uh all his features. He's doing one with uh compiled with all his his latest features. I think that he did okay. with people. Okay. You know, and I kind of want to hear. I, Oh, this might be some old shit, but I want to hear that gospel album he did with Fred Hammond, because Eric Eric, Eric Robeson is a great writer of music. 
So I, I would like to see how he does that. He does in a gospel field with that. Uh, but I haven't heard anything about it. No one said it was crazy or nothing. So anyway, to finish my list, uh, I want to. I'm waiting for Nas. Nas coming off this whole Harvard graduate, uh, oh, this Harvard uh, scholarship thing. You know what I'm saying? I like this last album. You know, uh, I'm always I'm into Nas. So yeah, that. Uh, my boy Fonte, he'll probably put out an EP this year. Can't wait, little brother, for an exchange, Fonte. And last but not least, Sean gonna hate this an underground rapper named Blue. He been kidding me with albums every year. Dope punchlines, dope lyrics. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Last one, Ross. This this album is really important for Ross. This next album, 2014, because Ross might turn into Jeezy, who Jeezy is now. If this don't work, because the last album didn't work, mm. mainstream wise. Uh, I'm looking for, so I'm looking forward to Ross, and that's my list, and I'm sticking to it. I, I, Rick, hey. Ross? Rick Ross, yeah. Ricky, yeah. this album is made back Big music. Like Ricky, if you don't do this, man, say bye bye to uh, Mick Mill and all them niggas. Maybe Wale, Wale probably can can last because he's a different type of rapper, but. I don't know. I don't know about the other guys. Wale, Wale ain't going nowhere as long as he, he keep he keep dissing DC. DC is his homie. He don't he don't like DC no more. So I don't. I don't well, they don't like nobody. I thought I always hear him bigging up DC in his joints. So. Yeah, always, I, always, I thought he was repping DC. Always. He, he loved to rep DC, but when it comes to articles, he be like DC ain't shit. So. Damn, I'm, 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 well, he, he keeps Maybe saying, ain't, he, keeps yeah. saying he keeps saying they don't really support him, like because he mm. went kind of mainstream. Because you know DC cats are, are very um, once you go mainstream, they don't they don't kind of like they really don't like you no more. It's like it's like when when Common Sense dropped Sense, Ava just became Common. Chicago kind of Chicago kind of left him alone too. Same thing. Mm. I don't know. I might have to disagree with you on that one, George. Yeah. After he dropped Common, he, he made like Water for Chocolate. <laughs> and you know what songs came off that? But, uh, hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. One, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing, guys. This not really, this kind of has something to do with music, but I'm into the whole battle rap. I'm getting into the whole battle rap. Uh, Loaded Lux. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got how the did it done to be Loaded Lux on January 26th rap battle. This is two, two of the top rap, uh, two of the top battlers. I got how to die to upset Loaded Lux. It ain't gonna be easy. I don't know what the hell Loaded Lux gonna do. He got too much to live up to. What uh, they do? A three rounds? They do a three, three rounds. rounds. Three rounds. Yeah. I got, I got, I got Hollow two to one. Oh, you got Hollow too. Okay, cool, cool. And then, uh, and then uh, I got uh, after Hollow win this, I got him going against Charlie Clips, who in Summer Madness four. Uh, those are those are the top three, top five uh, battlers. And I got Murder Mook to come back like uh, Lux did la last year. And I'm sorry, that's you know that's it for the battle rappers. I know I probably lost some people, but that's interesting. Interesting. So, so you what got you, who you got on uh, your list? Put it on it. This nigga <laughs> drinking that damn Urkin jerk. I see you. Oh, not Urkin jerk. Oh, it's on me. It's on me. MD20, yeah, it's on you, bro. <laughs> oh, well, I got a couple people, man. I, I'm I'm feeling kind of sentimental, so I got a couple people I'm actually checking for in this new year. Um, oh shit. I want to see what this chick Bridget Kelly gonna continue to bring to the table. What's she saying, Sean? Uh, yeah, she coming. Huh? Yeah. What she saying? Bridget Kelly. I forgot. I don't. I don't know the name of the song, but she got a song that's so dope to me. The video is dope and everything. She's like out on a beach or something. But she, I, I like her music. Um, okay. So far, so far. Seven Streeter. I'm actually looking to see what she's gonna do. She uh, dope. Mark, she's one, one of mine. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if he's gonna be able to match the energy of that good kid, Mad City, because it was such a great debut for him. Mm -hmm. Um. And I just think that, you know, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to match that. But I want to see uh, what that's what how that's gonna jump off. Uh, I guess I'm probably I'm probably you know one of the few people who are actually looking forward to this. But I because my only because I played the album so much that I got tired of it. But I'm actually looking to see if if uh, Royce and, and Eminem gonna do another album together. 
Um, I'm God. looking to see. Oh, God. I'm looking to see if Slaughterhouse is gonna put out something dope. I heard it's gonna be real dope, but I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm gonna, I want to see what 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 they're gonna get jumped off um, in 2014. And um, that's so funny you said that about the old school because I want to see like you know if we're gonna get any of these. I'm saying old school, but not really old school. But any of these rappers who are who are didn't just come out in the last couple of years, are we gonna get any new music from them? Because it seems like the funny thing about this music, man, I hear a lot of people complaining about it. Like every most most people our age, they all saying the same thing. Like rap suck, and nobody putting out no good music. And so it seems like you you either gonna have to have some new people that's gonna put out some good music, or the old people gonna have to come back and put out some good music. So I'm just interested to see. Where that's gonna go, um, and then last but certainly not least, um, I'm looking to see. Um, well, I don't have this on my list, but I was thinking about um, uh, Big Sean, man. I, I'm, a, I'm a Big Sean fan. Like I think, I think that you know he can. I think that he can be like a star, like a you know a superstar in in, in the rap industry but I, it just seems like he's doing a lot of like Duke I don't know if y'all got that Detroit album but Duke can spit man like he just I don't know I, I'm it seems like he's just like the music that he comes out with is a lot is a lot of radio friendly stuff or they you know he's trying I guess trying to do what everybody else is doing but Duke Big Sean really can spit and I don't no, know if y'all know not, but Drake actually stole Big Sean's style that's how he became the yeah, artist that, that uh... Yeah, I know what you're talking about that that that, that little punchline, the way they be like yeah. fitted hats and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> right, like uh, something, something. I ball chemo. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah that type stuff. Oh, so Big Sean can spit, but I'm just curious to see what's going to happen um with with all of those those people that I mentioned. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that. And what you said, Mark, about the the battle, the battle. Um, I think I am going better than on, but. I don't know, man. He he showed up kind of weak in that last battle, I think, against Sue Surf. He killed Sue Surf to me. Nah, it was kind of. It was just. It was just. I mean, he did kill him, but it was just kind of. Well, he didn't kill him. It was two. It was like two one. It was I'm, two yeah, one. But I'm saying, like, it was just decent. It was decent. It wasn't yeah. like. It like wasn't he took like, a day off. Right, and it wasn't like you know you just he gonna come up against Lux and it's just gonna be you know a cake while he got a pack of lunch. Well, well, it's gonna be. It's gonna be interesting to see how that goes down. Um, but that's it for me, man. That's well, we move me. before we move off this music thing, man. I wanted to um, ask the question about uh, a female um, rap artist, man. Like um, I know I, I've read that Nikki is coming out with something else. Like, w will there be another uh, female that can wrestle with Nikki, who can come up to the to step up to that to that pop culture status, and and, and will we get and will we get back to a place where there are several women like when it was Salt and Pepper, when it was Light, when it was Queen Latifah, when there were there were a number of women out at one time, Brad, Eve, like no, Eve were around the same time. Will that happen again? Well, uh, no. I mean, I, you know, you know, I already, I already said that. Uh, Iggy Azalea and Azalea Banks, which I, I Azalea like, Banks is dope. Yeah. Which which all yeah, right. are hilarious. Azalea which Banks one is which? Which one is with Ti? Iggy, Iggy, Iggy is the white Iggy girl. Azalea. She I like too. the I like the white girl better than the black girl myself. Mm -hmm. That's why I like I Azalea Banks is not Azalea <laughs> Banks is just Iggy, Iggy, all right. Azalea, she come with the full package to me. She can spit and the way she stand her whole her whole. Her whole, her vibe, her, vibe, well, see, the whole thing was, her presence, with, with, her presence far succeeds, her her presence supersedes that of Azalea Banks. When I watch Azalea Banks videos, one is so corny with this, this like she out in the, in, in 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 the desert, like she just in the forest or something. Uh, it's cornball. She don't look good to me. She ain't yeah. spitting about nothing. She can. She spitting. She can miss, Azalea, she can Azalea, miss Azalea, me. Girl, she can miss me, bro. To me, yeah. to me, Azalea Banks represents everything Erica Badu said about what the hell is wrong with hip hop at this point, uh, as far as being some old extra pop techno influenced hip hop. It's no longer it's no longer hip hop, but it's lost the whole boom bap. 
That's Azalea Banks. She Azalea was, Banks go uh, bodyguard hard to me, boy. Yeah, she, <laughs> when I listen to her verses, I, I, I would I would appreciate if somebody sent me something where she 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 doing this body contact because I promise you the two three little videos I done seen she ain't impressed me much if any. Mark, please tell me you ain't like that song that paint that ATM song, huh? For real, I ain't heard that one, but I like that song, nineteen ninety one. I got racks, racks, racks. Woo! So, man, Azalea Banks is man, dude. We talked a earlier. We talked a little earlier about this about how men and women ain't treated, ain't treated the same. Man, if Isaiah Banks was a dude rapping about that stuff, you know, <laughs> like we just get caught up sometimes. She looks good. She's beautiful to look at. Now I ain't gonna front on that, but she ain't talking about nothing. Like Nikki and Azalea, Azalea, Iggy Azalea is, huh? Iggy Azalea is. She talking about the same shit. They I don't, about like, the I don't like Iggy Azalea. I'm not, I mean, I'm not. No, let me tell you that back. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that I don't like Iggy Azalea, but I'm saying if I had to choose one, I would take Iggy Azalea over Azalea Banks. Oh, that's All cool. Day, that's cool. <laughs> that's yeah, cool. I go the opposite way. That's cool. <laughs> I, 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 fuck with, I fuck with Iggy too, but you know, <laughs> hey, hey, Iggy Azalea went hard on that Murder Game song with Ti. Yeah, uh, she but, did. But uh, you know, all that other shit, man. Hey, Azalea Banks. I'm looking forward to her, man. I, I give her a listen, but if well, it's whack, it's whack. Well, well, I mean, both of them, both of them are supposed to be dropping in, in 2014, so. And they don't like each other too, which is kind of cool, rivalry type shit. Yeah, that, yeah, that, but but, but I, 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 don't kid, gonna, I don't think they're gonna put around. a dent. They ain't gonna put no dent in what Nikki doing. No, ain't nobody, nobody said there was. That's the I think I think that I think they're in different lanes than Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Nikki just she's just. So big, she's a she character. Needs, she needs some. She needs somebody to challenge her, though, man. She don't even have Absolutely like no age. And no that's chance. that's why I brought it up. That's the point I'm making. Because here's yeah. the thing: when, when, Nikki ain't gonna give you her best product at this point because she knows she Queen B. So you need somebody again. Sean, hey, iron sharpens iron. So ain't no iron out there to sharpen Nicki Minaj because um, Iggy Azalea and Azalea <laughs> Banks. I'm not gonna consider iron. So you you need somebody with that's ironclad who can who gonna come and shut the game down like a Nicki Minaj. Well, this is Nicki been saying this all last year. She's saying she harder than niggas, and I hope that she did some black some dude because I think Nicki can take a dude down. I think Nicki can take a lot of dudes out. So I hope she does that. You know, I hope she don't go after Jay Z. That's the only one. You know, I hope she don't go after the greats, but I hope she go after J Cole or. These these little soft you know, ass niggas. You don't know look, man. Look, Nikki is all right, all right. And we don't even know if she right. If she ain't writing that shit, if she got some other people in the background, man, she gonna say I'm good on that shit. Really, Nikki got some punchlines, dude. Hey, I tell you who name she won't call though. She cool. ain't calling J Cole name. She ain't calling Kendrick Lamar name. She ain't calling. They not, Kendrick, Kendrick ain't gonna diss her. I don't think Kendrick gonna diss her. Not let you. Not let you diss her. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Just listen to me. I hope Nicki Minaj did some dudes, cause I'm telling oh, you, she so can too. go. She can. I don't know who. If, if she ain't writing it, she can spit it damn good. And this is just about. If this is just about words, you know, ain't nothing like a woman diss. And she gonna change the game if she do. I hope. Ooh, 2014. If there's a guy, please listen to me. I know I ain't did you right. I know I ain't been on your side. But please let let Nicki Minaj diss these uh, whole ass dick in the booty ass niggas, please. Hey, where my holy water for this? this I know you better break it out, boy. That's just water, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I really think Nicki can take some dudes out, man. Speaking of taking people out, uh oh, um, Hillary Clinton. I'm I'm saying Hillary Hillary. Is it? It's gonna take some. Hillary ain't gonna take a whole bunch of dudes down. She got more balls. Than, she got more balls than Obama right now. And uh, he got he got real balls. Like he's a dude. He's got balls. She ain't gonna take some dudes down when it come down to uh, these elections. When it come 2014, she gonna speak on some things that um, people are not ready for. Mm. I think they're gonna hit uh, Hillary Clinton with an ugly scandal before 2016, and they're gonna try to do it through Bill. Like he gonna Bill probably to fuck some other chick. It's gonna be something. They're gonna. Bill, they're gonna find Bill, Bill, 
Bill don't fuck like eight chicks. By dude, 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 dude. They survived. They survived it the first go round. They'll survive it again. No, no, but it's tough. In the, it's tough in the election, election cycle to have to deal with, you know, this, a scandal. This is well, it's gonna crazy. be something. It's gonna be something like some money embezzlement or. It's gonna be, I'm gonna tell you exactly. What, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Bill Clinton got a little black, a little black love child out there. Oh man, that he ain't taking care of, and the mom, the mama is, cause I heard something about this not too long ago. I don't know if it was through the Inquirer or whatever. It was some show, but he, he gonna have some little kid out there he ain't taking care of, and it, it's gonna come out the woodworks, and they are gonna try to, you know, attach her to it and say that she knew about it and she told him if. It's either me or the kid. I, I could I could be a writer for the Inquirer, man, because you can just make up stuff and just, bro, and just hey, Sean, run with I, it. And I, run with it. Sean, I agree with you, but for what what George said first is going to be the reason why she get over it. She gonna do something that just she gonna pull a Obama. Like it's just gonna sound different. It's gonna sound universal and and inclusive, and you know she gonna just uh just invigorate uh the Democrats and and you know like women women everywhere. To want to move forward, stand up, stand behind it. She, she gonna, gonna, she, gonna she gonna, she gonna, she gonna pull an Olivia Pope or a Mary Jane on them joints, and y'all just gonna like her, even though she the side chick. Y'all still gonna like her just because. Who? Who gonna be the side chick? Well, well, really, at this at this point, Hillary has been the side chick for a long time. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> and she got the ring. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I bet she don't care. She I, bet don't care. Don't care I bet she don't care that y'all laugh, and I promise you, because at the end of the day, that woman getting in that White House. Y'all can believe what you want to believe. Scandal be damn. That woman been, man, she been gunning for it. And let me tell you something. When you put your faith in that good energy towards something, you don't have no choice but to materialize. That woman been scheming on that office for a minute, brother. Let me tell you something. She will find a way. She will find a way. And when, when you somebody like Hillary Clinton, one, she got the complexion. Two, people want to see what a woman would do because they've already seen what a black person would do. So people want to see what a woman would do. Hillary Clinton got the resources to move a lot of this out the way. A lot of things that will try to to manifest a scandal will be moved out the way before we even get to before it even gets to right. where we talking about it. Because she exactly. has that kind of power. She has those kind of resources. And she's smart. I'm talking about super, super smart. This woman, she's sitting at home now like she it ain't like Hillary Clinton gonna wake up the day before election and be like Hey, we gonna do this. Like she been gunning for this. She been masterminding been this while her husband was in there, probably before he got there. Like right. she's been wanting this for so long that I just absolutely believe it's gonna come to fruition and I absolutely will be wrong for her if she runs. Uh, hey Keith, uh, Republicans got that same energy, good energy too. So <laughs> if it's about that energy, shit, other motherfuckers got that energy too. Yeah. Uh, Ain't nobody who got, got, it, it, who it, got, it, who got it in the Republican Party. In, in Republican no, 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 no. He said, he said, he said, she, he said, Hillary Clinton won it. Hey, Republicans want that shit too. Believe they that. Want it, they they want it, but, but they got? Let me tell you who they got. Who they got? They they got? Cross, Christy. Cross Chris Christie off the mm -hmm. list because he a bridge over political it, walls. It, ain't nobody, yeah, it, it, ain't nobody it, it, trying to deal with that and all that he gonna bring to talk about scandal. It's gonna be yes, them sir. putting out one fire after the other with that dude because he's so brass. He think he's invincible. He yeah. is not. And I'm gonna tell you, they gonna show him that if he run, they gonna show him that he is invincible because he the fat cat literally that's gonna get put <laughs> out to slaughter. Man, hey, they got some weight. It ain't gonna be easy I, for Hillary. I liked, I liked um Chris Christie when I first started hearing about him several years ago and how he was putting people in their place at these different um meetings and all these forms. Like I loved how brass he was. But it comes to a point, just like Kanye, you got to pull back at least for a minute. They ain't let the people breathe. <laughs> Damn people breathe. We can't breathe. You just all down our throat with your fat ass. No. Damn. <laughs> Tough crowd. He sure is. He sure, he's Tough done. crowd. The whole, hey, thing with, the whole thing with Chris Christie is at this point, Chris Christie is done. He 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 going. He 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 let he let his dirt get out in public. 
like Hillary, Hillary does some dirt. Don't don't get it twisted. She does some dirty dirt. I mean, she puts she puts some people on the sideline for real, but you ain't heard about it. She, she did Obama wrong in the running. Remember she she said oh, something yeah. crazy about oh, Obama. Yeah. She's the one. She's the one that put out the commercial talking about uh, talking about Obama. Talking about do you really want him pushing the button? Yeah. She's, <laughs> the, she's the one that put that commercial out. So she she got her dirt. But she knows how to keep it undercover. And I mean, when you dealing with your husband and Bill Bill Clinton, you gotta learn how to put your dirt on the cover. And here's so, the thing, you know, politics politics vary from city to city and place to place. Um, Jersey politics is different from politics on a national level, different from politics here in Ripley. Like, it's, it's different. It's all contingent to what's going on in those environments. And Chris Christie makes a great, um, what is he, the mayor? That's what's, what's his position? What's his he job? He's gov he the governor. He's he governor. Oh, governor. Governor. Okay, governor. This nigga, the governor of New Jersey. Nigga. <laughs> So, so this cat, the, the thing is, Nigga, Jersey, really <laughs> ignorant because he's ignorant, right? Ignorant. The thing, the thing about, and, and you notice if you've been to Jersey, oh, crowd. People in Jersey are a certain kind of way, and they can deal with him in a way that I don't think Middle America. Like, let me tell you something. I'm a certain kind of guy. I'm from Ripley, Tennessee. Most people from Ripley, Tennessee ain't going to be trying to hear nothing that nobody like a Chris Christie got to say, whereas me, I'm a different kind of guy, so he's more palatable to me. Whereas when you get to middle America, um, these middle ground states, they don't want to deal with that guy like that to, because he comes across as a bully. Don't nobody like a bully, bro. Not when you in our face as bully. Like, it's all wrapped on you, bully. Like, your whole outfit say bully. <laughs> it was she. Well, I mean, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all dealt with the bushes, and they were bullies. Yeah, they're bullies, yep. Yeah. From the south, baby. They bully pulpit that damn presidency. Kennedy, the Kennedys were you bullies. Didn't, you, too. you, 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 you didn't know what you was getting at first with them bushes. I promise y'all didn't know. Y'all would have stayed out them bushes had you known better. You didn't. Yeah, you know ain't know George was going until, until they got in there. Now you knew when that second bush got in there what you was probably gonna get, which is why Jeb sitting back somewhere. They wanted to put him in. <laughs> That's the man. Jeb, Jeb gonna be the man this year. They and, said, hey, and look, yeah. Jeb gonna be the man. And guess what? They're gonna get behind marijuana too. That's all that's all white people. Now, white if, they people crazy. Good, if they get behind that good green, then they might have I'm telling they got a chance, man. Because they're not getting behind gay marriage. But they're gonna they're get not, behind that green. Not, they're not gonna get behind gay marriage, but they will get behind the green. Yeah. And that's gonna bring think, Republicans think, back. Yeah, I, I think Republicans have have a love for the green. They, I mean, they, they've loved Coke forever, so they might as well get behind the green and say that's okay. Yeah. Yep. But do y'all think? Do y'all think? Do y'all think that? Do y'all think that? That's a strong enough platform to win a presidential election. No. Are you talking about yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I do. I do. I, I think I do. Because, uh, Republicans, Republicans got a, uh, they, they basis, man is 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 separating from them, man. They lose a lot of their base because socially they are uh, are. In, uh, are Seems uh, intolerant almost, you know. Yeah. So they need one thing to make them like, because that one thing. What, what's that candidate? Uh, he's a independent. No, he's a Republican. What's that dude name? God, old guy. Who? Who ran uh, last president? He ran almost every election. Old guy. Uh, you talking Paul, about Ron Paul? Ron, Ron Paul. Paul. Ron Paul talked about legalizing drugs. Man, I'm telling you. And they cheered. The and they cheered at the yeah, The rest of his man. ideas wasn't that good. They cheered about Ron, it. Got Ron Paul got eight votes, man. You can't. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Ron win Paul. No Ron Paul was making noise, man. Ron Paul was yeah. making noise. Ron, Ron, making, actually, actually, Ron Paul made when it came to the primary in Iowa and several other places. He made some serious noise in Iowa. And he made and he made enough serious noise that they almost took over. Uh, they almost took over delegates in some primary states that that would have that would have put him on on the ballot. Oh yeah. In the word in the words of PE, my friends, don't believe the hype, please. Don't be please. Shit. Please, 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 Herman Cain was making noise. You see what happened to him, right? <laughs> well, Herman Herman Cain couldn't. Herman Cain had a scandal. That's what I told him all. What I'm telling you is that's not. 
Don't believe the hype. Nobody, Ron Paul is not getting nowhere near the White House unless he but come there with a pistol. Herman Cain was a front leader, dude. At, unless, he one time. Time. <laughs> unless he got a pistol in his hand at the front gate. <laughs> that's, all, that's the closest that nigga gets. I'm so, you said, so you're saying the Republicans don't got no chance, Sean? I'm telling you that yeah. I don't that I don't see I don't see any candidate that they gonna put on the forefront. Uh, now, Jeb I'm Bush. Telling you, Jeb I'm Bush. Telling you, I'm telling you, if they put first of all, put, America is not gonna reelect a Bush. They're not gonna reelect anybody. How you know that? Gee. Okay, watch. Gee. watch. Come on, you man. You'd be surprised. You be. You I'm will be serious. very surprised. All you them damn Kennedys that got elected. Please. Dude, no, dude. One Kennedy was president. One and uh, uh, a gang of Kennedys John, was in other offices. John, I, they, I but think, we're not I talking about other saying, offices. We're talking about president. We got two Bushes then. Two Bushes was president. <laughs> All right. Why not three? Theoretically, no if, you find, if you find a Republican that say, hell no to abortion and hell yes to uh, marijuana, oh, you got your next president. Seriously. That's a start. That's a strong enough. That's a strong enough. Uh, that's, that pla- platform for them to win the election. You think? That and what what Hillary gonna run on? Platform because because in the last <laughs> election, <laughs> in, in the, in the, <laughs> right right in the last uh, election, uh, husband shoulders <laughs> right right in the in its last election, I mean, Obama only won the east and the west coast, the middle of the country. Was all was all Romney? Don't get it twisted. What else he need though? What else he need? That, that's where the biggest states are in the east and west coast. He, he probably won Texas. Did he not win Texas? No, he, he didn't win no Texas. damn Texas. He, he might win. Te- he might. He hey, might win Texas. Texas. He might win Texas this year because all all y'all are moved to uh, Dallas because y'all <laughs> moved off down there. <laughs> thinking it's the next big state, but. Dallas, I mean Texas is not. It's the South. I don't expect. I don't expect Obama. I don't expect any Democrats to win the South. But I'm just saying he won. He, he won gonna, enough. Right? He did. Hillary Clinton, he won. Hillary. But but think about Hillary Clinton, it. There's enough. Clinton, there's Clinton, enough people. There's a if there's a Republican that say, okay, um, I'm gonna make marijuana illegal. California will go for that. Don't get it twisted. California will go for it. And so with certain parts of New Jersey would go for it. Any they already smoking. They already smoking Big Bud in California. They don't need no president mm. to get them to okay. Hey, and, 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 and while y'all talking about all that Bill Clinton stuff, he had chinks in his uh, in his armor. They gonna the Republicans gonna go right after that NAFTA. He he one of the reasons why we had the uh, he one of the reasons why we had that that uh, housing breakdown. You housing know, breakdown as yeah. well as, as and now on one. If you, because they gave they gave Bill Clinton, uh, Bill Clinton knew knew about uh, terrorist attacks coming too. Hey, hey, so Clinton, yeah. Clinton, so super slick, she will know how to distance herself enough from, from all of that, and will still look fa- familial as a family, but say that's what that dude did, that nigga did all that. This she couldn't even beat Obama. She couldn't she beat said, Obama, a black man. So what makes you think she's gonna be the because, because it was Obama. It was Obama. Because it was Obama? Really? Yeah. A white really? Come on, guys. She couldn't even beat Obama. And she let me tell you what it is. She played the game dirty. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. This go back to what we was talking about when we first started this, was that whole equality thing. People would rather see a man in the office like that than a woman and a black man over a white woman because mm-hmm. we would rather see a man in that office. That's why that's why she didn't get it that time. So listen to what you're saying and then now tell me why a Republican couldn't beat her. <laughs> they ain't Obama. They ain't Damn. Obama. Man. Obama had mad chinks in his armor and Obama oh. ain't really doing well right now, according to a lot of people. That's now. So like, that's but the, now. But see, that's the thing. But see, that's the thing. Even though, even though they they try, Republicans have painted him in a certain picture. People know better. They know uh, they 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 know they uh, as far as the Affordable Care Act. They know they don't want that shit repeal. Look, and they don't all I'm saying they, is they don't tell their representatives as much. They don't want they don't want that that shit repeal. So. In the end, ain't, no, ain't nobody coming up against Hillary. Look, I'm rooting Republican for Hillary. Or Democrat. I Nobody's won't. coming up against her. 
I'm I want Hillary to win, but y'all just acting like this gonna be easy and it's no, not. No, 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 this no, 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 and it's going to somehow, they're going to use it against Hillary Clinton, everything uh, with this NSA stuff. She's in office, you know, with right now. You know what I'm saying? No, so no, they're going to they question all the Demo Democrat policies, policies of Obama that a lot of people disagree with. Yeah, disappear you know, so, first. Yeah. Snowden, Snowden would disappear first. What? Snowden? Please, would, all right. please, please, please believe. Please Snowden going to drop that bomb, big, big guy. Please uh -huh. believe. Hillary got enough power. That bitch can, that chick can, well, I ain't gonna say that bitch. That chick can fly to Russia and make that, that Nero disappear. And she would have did it. Because he got some melts. He got something okay. else. We'll see 2014 when he drop it and they and Obama go scrambling and and Hillary go this stuff is gonna affect her, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It'll work. And then they're gonna play the, they gonna play the woman role on it too. They're gonna play the uh, emotional woman role too. Hey, in the words of meth, we go we go see Big Daddy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we'll see. We go see. We go see. Hey, that, wait, wait. That's gonna be interesting. Can I uh can I do can I do my last couple of predictions of twenty fourteen? Yes. No doubt. Yeah. Alright, so I got uh so I told y'all about the uh I told you about the scandal that Hillary Clinton gonna be in, uh mm -hmm. due to Bill Clinton. So I said that one already. All right, for sports, I got uh, I have the Broncos beating the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl in the last seconds of the game, fourth mm. quarter. Peyton Manning gonna win the game and he's gonna retire. If he loses, if he loses, he gonna stay and play again because he want to beat his he want to tie up with his brother. Yeah, so I feel uh, like he's gonna retire on top, right? Uh, I, got the, I got the Miami Heat three peat, right? Mm. I got LeBron going to the Knicks after that. <laughs> You're gonna end up with the Knicks, and in 2014, somebody in sports or entertainment is gonna come out gay. Mostly sports, oh, somebody, somebody yeah, oh, in sports that's, is gonna come out gay. gay. Can it can that's it be gay. somebody big this time? At least it's gonna be some, oh, it's no, gonna be no, it ain't gonna be somebody big. It ain't gonna be a superstar. It's, it's gonna, gonna be like somebody to get playing time. Well, 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 what what was the dude name that just came out last year on Oprah and all that? Jason. Jason Collins. Yeah, Jason, Jason Collins. Collins. Okay, if we ain't gonna get no bigger than Jason Collins, you can stay in the closet. <laughs> no. If you're, well, not, if you're well, not gonna be, no, 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 no. Listen, hear me out. If you're not gonna be marquee player, LeBron James, D Wade, these types of guys, stay. I'm um, uh, this, this me, this key saying this to these guys. Please keep your ass in the closet. Seriously, like we don't need no, we don't need no more almost famous people coming out. Chelsea. Totally disagree I, with you, but I, 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 I can, I can actually see, um, I can see within. I don't see it in, in necessarily 2014, but 2014 and 2015, a Heisman player that that or somebody that's big that uh, divests from college into the league. Coming into the league and 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 the minute he come through the door, he's saying, "Hey, hey." I see that. Now I can definitely see that. Yeah, because the young people affect it more. Yeah. Let me just say, young kids, young kids, don't stay in the closet with nothing. Whatever you do, and unless it's gonna get you hurt, don't stay in the closet. Right. right. That's my. That's me. If you gay atheist, whatever you are, do not stay in the closet. Fuck these people, man. No offense to y'all. <laughs> fuck these people. Come on out that closet. It's better. Because, I mean, they already la last year, it was supposedly, and this is just supposedly, some guy that was that was major in the league last year was supposed to come out. But it was so much it was so much politics going on as far as the league was concerned that it never happened. But apparently, I mean, supposedly as far as the media was concerned. There was somebody big that was supposed to come out last year, but he didn't come out. So, oh well. What's I guess for me, you know, just honestly, I don't really just subscribe to a come out theory because 
as I know it, you ain't went into nothing to be coming out of nothing. You just if if you go about living your life and, and there are things in your life that should be private. Mm -hmm. So I'm not out. I feel like you know what what needs to be said should be said. I don't I don't I don't necessarily need to know what you're doing or how you're doing it or that you want to. It's just a it's 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 overwhelming for me because I don't I, as a person out here living life I don't need that for me. I don't need you know and and Wendy Williams will say this on her show. She would rather like if she had a friend that came out to her, you know, this kind of thing. It, uh, no, no, I, I don't need you to do nothing but be you. Now, if you can be you and keep your business, your business is cool. But if you can't be you and you need to share your business, that's cool. But my thing is, I, I don't like the the assumption that people need to come out of a closet for anything. I think you need to live your life and be the best possible person that you can be. I, I, I don't think there's a need to be coming out of closets. That, that's ludicrous to me. And I know I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who would be coming out of no closet. I'm going to live my life the way I'm going to live my life. Now, if it came up in conversation where I needed to allude to something or say something, I'm going to do it. But I don't, I don't feel a need to be like, ooh, 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 look at me. This is what I do. Man, that's dumb. That's ignorant and that's silly to me. But I think it's about acceptance, <laughs> though. Like they want to be accepted. And yeah, that's what right, I think. But... That's the that, that's the main thing. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, it's about being everybody. accepted. Yeah, I mean, but, okay, but, okay, but, okay, okay riddle me, just... riddle me this. Riddle me, riddle, riddle me this. If if I say it right now, uh, Sean, Mark, G, uh, I'm gay. Then has that changed anything for y'all with me? It don't change anything for for us, but it's good that we know because we know where to how to protect you and how to stand up for you because people out here don't want you to don't believe that that's your nature that don't believe that you're right for doing that might even hurt you for it, you know. And that's what we don't. I don't, I can't speak for George or Sean, but that if you with me and a nigga be like, man, that gay ass nigga, man, fuck you, that's my nigga, that's my G. Now if you gonna if you gonna say fuck him, you gonna say fuck me. Or if you gonna hit right. him, you gonna have to hit me. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what. That's that's why you. That's why I feel like you should come out now. You like as an atheist, yeah. all atheists don't have to come out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's you can get fight. It's things that can actually hurt your hurt your money for that. Like so, I'm I'm putting it on the line. But if you gay, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to come out either. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to come out, if you want to be who you are, everybody should be who should have the a chance to be who they are and walk the streets without getting hurt. Without getting discriminated against, without getting looked at the wrong way, and I mean, if you gay or atheist or whatever you are, you know what I'm saying? I say, come on out. I stand by you. If they gotta beat your ass, they gotta beat my ass too, because I'm all for the First Amendment right to be who we are, to express ourselves the way we want to be. And, and, and I, I, I think I, I think a lot of times it's more. It's not just necessarily expressing, being able to express who you are, but being able to not hide who you are, and that's two different things. Yeah, it's it's it, it's it's one thing to be able to say, "Oh, I love him and I love her." You know what I'm saying? It there there are there are certain boundaries that we been we put on each other that are inexcusable. There are certain things that we we like. There was somebody that made a comment on the page earlier. About um, when I forgot who I don't know who posted it, but they were talking about um, still men be able to say bestie or BFF, and it was like you know uh, somebody said you know men put too many exclusions on themselves that they can no longer they can no longer be able to say things without it being their masculinity being questioned. A woman can a woman can say oh that's my girl. Oh, that's my, that's my, I, I write, you know, they say, oh, she's pretty, but a man can't say that because in the end, it looked at, oh, well, you saying that, then it must, and, and one of my, one of my friends uh, in Seattle, who I've known for forever, he, um, he posted a picture of one of his boys when they were in, um, not Vegas, they were, they were LA or Vegas, whatever, and they were on a beach, and he was making a comment that was kind of exclusionary. It wasn't about the picture. It was about something that happened in the picture. And there were comments like, well, why are you commenting on that man picture like that? And it was like, you know, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? 
I can I can say, oh, you know, my boy, my boy, do anything in that picture. He looked good in that picture. Blah 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 blah. I don't. That don't mean that. I'm I'm I want to I want a second dick because he because he looked good in the picture. I'm just saying he looked good in the picture. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We we've gotten to the point as men that we no longer can see certain things and just say, you know, Sean, you doing your damn thing today? Can I can I can I pose a question to the three of you? Can I pose two questions to the three of you? Go for yeah. means. Will 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 either, either, either of you are are you in line of think are you in in um what's the word I'm looking for would would you three guys use in a sentence and, and of course Mark and Sean y'all are real close would you Sean say Mark is my BFF or Mark is my bestie and and on the and, and on the same token would any of y'all can are any of y'all so comfortable with yourselves that you could be looking at a picture and say oh dude nice looking. Oh, do, n n n this ain't do outfit type. Oh, I like them jeans. This is this this that's a handsome guy. Or that's a nice looking guy. Any of you able to say that that that's my bestie or that's my BFF or that a man looks nice or is a good well, looking guy? That it's I, not it's not in my verbiage to say that right, you know. So I've never right. really said that about anybody. But right. I, like I said, if Sean said that to me, I get thrown off a little, but I'm a laugh. Because I don't expect Sean to be gay. Now, if he take a grab of my butt, that's different. What? You know, I can tell you I can tell you firsthand. I can tell you, me and Sean, for the longest, we always say no gay TL. And we say no gay TL for what happened to me, you know, when I went to go down there to go see this asshole in Atlanta. And he ended up going out with his girl and leaving me in Atlanta by myself. And a thousand gay dudes trying to talk to me in Midtown. I didn't even know what the fuck Midtown Atlanta was until I, I walked past damn goddamn bulldogs and got damn attacked. You know, I didn't get attacked. Was a lot of dudes was at me that night. So, so me and Sean, so me and Sean say, so me and Sean kind of preface things by saying no gay to yell, right? But I also say, I also say. Man, I'm comfortable with my masculinity to say Sean, Sean looks nice in a lot of his pictures. Sometimes, like I like his outfits and stuff like that. Like, oh man, Sean can dress. I say, man, that, that's a cool outfit or whatever. Sean, know I ain't tried nothing to him or whatever. I mean, I could still be gay, but he know I ain't tried nothing to him to say, uh, yeah, man, you know, man, Mark might be gay. Or he, I don't think he ever had to question uh, my sexuality because I said he looked nice. Or man, yeah, that's that, that hat cold. That that go with the that go with his outfit or whatever, or whatever we say, you know what I'm saying, to say, yeah, you look nice. I say, keep man, I like your bow ties or whatever. They don't mean I want to fuck you or suck. They ain't, they don't, I don't want to do none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? George, you know, I'm just trying to start to get to know you, man. Like, I don't know how you dress really yet, but you know what I'm saying? If you have something cool, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yo, that's cool, man. Like, you know, that nice outfit. You look nice, man. You know, I'm, I guess because I'm older, but when I'm in my 20s, I was trying to watch out for that gay shit. But no, to answer your question, I don't use bestie. If somebody did use Say we have a bromance or a bestie, it'll it'll throw me off a little, you know, because it's like ah man, you know, like <laughs> you know, because I'm so I'm so I'm so socialized to watch out for gay shit, you know what I'm saying? But that don't make I mean, it and, that don't mean nobody see, gay. And see, but see, that's that that that's men that's men in general, and that's and see that's that's something that's coming. 20, 2014, 2014 is definitely going to be a big. It, a big part of 2014 is going to be the gay civil war. Oh, as true. far as people being able to say who they are and being comfortable with saying who they are. And you'd be surprised. Like, okay, I have, I have an employee that is from um, Ethiopia. And they have a different connotation of personal space. That's cultural, and it's a cultural thing. And if, if anybody has been watching a lot of stuff that's going on in Africa right now, Africa is big on you know a lot of a lot of spots, Uganda especially. A lot of spots in Africa are big on no homo. They big on no homo as far as the rounding up people and putting them in concentration camp type no homo. But they are very 
when it comes to perk, they don't mind hugging you, and they don't mind they don't mind being an inch within an inch of your personal space, talking and having conversation. Things like that don't bother them. It's when you cross the line as far as touching and kissing and and whatever. Those things bother them, but as far as personal space is concerned, things that we consider no homo, they that stuff doesn't really bother them. So, as the issue of 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 marriage and 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 and, and things of this nature comes up within our culture within this next year, um, there are going to be a lot of 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 concerns about what we consider polite and impolite in male culture. How you feel about cuz could somebody call you bestie, George? Like or bro, say you got they got a bromance with you or you know I mean say you that you they little freak friend? I don't know. I don't know what they, I don't know what the kids saying know, these days. I don't know about I don't know about I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about freak friends. But, um, I don't know, man. Now, I mean, the kids I are mean, saying but, different stuff. I mean, but as far as if somebody wow. if, if somebody would say who's your bestie or who is your your BFF, I mean, I know me and Keith know shit about each other that. Most people should not know. I mean, I'm, we know some very intimate shit about each other. We are very, very, very close. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my best friends. <laughs> and he, I mean, he could, uh, for me, I mean, even though, even though <laughs> me and Keith, we've, we've, I've had to cuss him out. He cussed me out a couple times. There's nothing he could do wrong in my eyes. That's my BFF. That's my best friend. He could not do shit that that would say that's not my best friend. So you can call it you 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 call my, That's my BFF. That's my bestie. Yeah. Okay. Well then, George comfortable with it. What yeah, about you, I, Keith? I, I, I'm a, I'm How you feel about him calling you that? I see. Here's the thing. I don't have a problem with George calling me his bestie or his BFF. Me personally, I'm not doing that. That's just not what I'm gonna do. I, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be on Facebook saying my bestie George, my BFF George. I'm not gonna say that on Facebook in real life on this telecast or nothing. That's just not in my nature to be calling somebody my BFF or my bestie. However, I'm not upset with George if he calls me my his BFF or his bestie. That's his language. That's what he chooses to use, and I, and that's my that's my dog. So I'm gonna respect my dog. But I'm me personally. I'm just not using those terms to describe my male friends to describe no I just I just don't like the words BFF bestie is this some simple shit to me and I just I'm not and particularly when it comes to a male account I'm not gonna do that but see on the flip side let me say this and this this may throw a little curve in it I've always been able to say Pause. Well, I've always been able to <laughs> <laughs> Pause. yes <laughs> go ahead go ahead I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> maybe I need to maybe I need to go beyond pause and just stop. Go uh, no, 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 go, go, go for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Keith. Oh, stop, go ahead. Stop, freeze and stop. For real. You can't put a curve in it. I'm gonna yeah, okay. I'm, 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 I'm just stop because that, that's gonna take us. No, no, from the other side. From the other side. You say you're going from the other side. Pause again. You say you're doing from. <laughs> you you're gonna go. You gonna attack. You know, just say what you gotta say, man. <laughs> My, what, what I was going to say was, man, uh, even though I'm not going to use the terms BFF and Bessie describe my friend, I've absolutely, in my, my entire life, just like how women can say, oh, that's a, that's a good looking woman, I've always been able to say that's a nice looking guy. And I feel no ways about it. And I'll continue forth with that. Like, and I mean, like, Mark, like you were saying, bow ties and, and clothes and things like that, most guys are comfortable just right there. I've been more comfortable than that. I've been able to say, well, I think that's 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 a that's a nice looking guy, or that's a handsome dude. Like that's that's just me. That's how that's how I am. So that's why I said that that may be kind of a, a you know somebody might look at that as oh well you can say that but you can't call a nigga your bestie your BFF. It's all personal choice. It's all you know how you gonna get it out here. But yeah, that 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 was just what I was gonna say, man. I've never been I've never shied away from saying how I feel about a thing because to me beauty is beauty. Period. You know what I'm saying? Art is art. You know what I'm saying? Is 
that's just how I view it. So I've never had no problems with it. And then of course, you know, growing up, you know, I'm, a, I'm of a particular age. So it, I, I, I'm not of this new school where we just free. You know what I'm saying? But I promise you, you know, when my uncles or different people had issues with me growing up saying things about me because I didn't fit the mold of what they wanted me to be, do I have no, I, I, I I ain't never back down because at the end of the day, I'm me and I'm going to do me. So, uh, you know, I, I express myself the way I express myself. And and and, and the point was I, I just don't have an issue with saying certain things, but, I don't, but I'm not, you know, in line to be using no besties and BFFs. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm a post, not pre-faith, but post-faith that was saying, no homo, I don't want to fuck keep. No, we, we not <laughs> like that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I, that's still that's still my that's still my BFF. I still yeah, uh, whatever. But keep um, you call you keep you calling niggas fine. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, I'm try, I don't know what the kids hey. saying these days. Let me know the verbiage. You say your niggas fine. Can you say can you say your freak? Can you say George is fine or? No, I don't know. And he can, and Keith can say that, but I would not be, I would not be comfortable with that. No. Hey, let me try. Okay, okay, okay. Like, 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 he can, like he can say, he could, like I can say, he's my BFF, <laughs> and he's not cool with that. He cannot tell me I'm fine and I'm cool. I'm not cool with that. Hey, well, let me. Is he? Is he? Is he? Go ahead. I just want to say this. I just want to say this about that. Like, like we were talking earlier about the treatment, like the, <laughs> about the equal treatment of men and women. Like, I just think that it's certain things that men do that you don't expect a woman to do. Like, I very rarely have met any women, particularly fem feminine, really, really feminine women, who I go up to and I just dap them up. You know, you know how we meet, we greet each other, we dap each other up, give each other a bear hug, whatever. I don't do that with women because it's that's that's not what I expect. Women, when you go out to a restaurant, it's three girls, two dudes, and the girls say, "Well, let's go to the bathroom." They get up and go to the bathroom together. <laughs> I get up, I get up and go to the bathroom. I wish Mark would be like, "Man, darling, let me go with you." I will slap that nigga. Slap but what if we gotta pee through? No, well, you better wait till I get back. <laughs> so what are you scared of? What do you, you think no, I'm gonna bust you in your booty? No, don't go. What without you me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So Come what I'm saying man. is, it's just we should be past it, man. No, we ain't past it. That man said you better not get up, Mark. <laughs> bet not. Bet not get up. Damn if I gotta pee too. You bet not. Damn if it's a coincidence oh. that I just gotta pee. Nah, you better hold it then. Oh, that's some fuck what shit. I, what, I, what I'm saying is like, you know, it's certain stuff that we just don't do. Like we not saying no B I'm not calling this man my BFF. Because typically that's stuff that you hear women say. Like even you even hear a woman say, "All right, if I ask a girl, I say, um, so so um, Fuquanda, what you think about Keisha?" Be like, "Oh, Keisha, that's my boo. I love Keisha." Blah 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 blah. So somebody say, "Keith, you ask me, hey, what's up with your boy Mark?" Oh, Mark, that's my boo, N nigga. What? <laughs> like, so it's some stuff that we just ain't gonna say. BFF and bestie to me is is the, like Mark. I loved your answer. You said that ain't in my verbiage. That ain't in my verbiage. That ain't ever. That probably ain't ever gonna work its way into my vernacular because I ain't like I'm not even seeing that happening. Like, oh yeah, that's my BFF. It just doesn't sound right rolling off the tongue at all. So it's just certain things. I think like our interactions. There's certain interactions that you have between men and women that that are acceptable, not to society, but just. You know, like, do you even feel comfortable? Would you feel comfortable meeting a chick like Gabrielle Union or, you know, just a real oh. girly girl and going up to her and dapping her up and get, man, I'll be like, what is, what is, what are you doing? Like, that don't even fit you. That, <coughs> ain't, that ain't even that. That's not but, even I mean, it's, it's, Hell, even, it's, the, even the girls that I know who don't look like women, they look like dudes. I don't even feel natural dapping them all. Like, damn, can I? Give me a hug, man. What you what you doing? Like I mean, but see, what? but see, but see, the whole thing is, it's not necessarily your words that should be. It's your actions. The things that you Indeed. do, yep. the things that you do, will tell more. You could you could be you could be saying, "Oh, that's my homie all day," but uh, you know, when when you do things for people or when you do things with people. That shows more than anything else. So you can you can put whatever language you want to put on it, but people can see the interaction that you have with other people, 
and can tell more about what verbiage you put on it. You can mm -hmm. you can you could say, Oh, that's my boy, that's my dog all day, but you know, if y'all you know, if 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 y'all sharing drinks and shit and, and fucking and fucking uh <laughs> and, and fucking drinks. you know you go out, you, out you, go, you, go, you go out you going out the to the club with, with um brand new joints on one day and you you the next day your boy got on them same shoes. Y'all motherfucking sharing shoes. I don't give a fuck if you saying that that's your BFF or not. Y'all still <laughs> it's what you do. It's hey, look, the I, actions I, that you take. So I think we missed it. Put on whatever verbiage that you put on it is whatever verbiage you put on it. But it's your actions Mm -hmm. The way you handle yourself with this person or that person, they can tell more than anything else. So just because me and Keith are cool, I, I love them to death. I love all y'all to death. I mean, don't get it twisted. You, I mean, you can have my fucking last penny if I got it to win, and I, ain't got, I don't need it back next week. But <laughs> seriously... It's not about what words I put on it. It's my actions, and it's the things that I oh, do. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, I mean, doubt. If, 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 if I could, I could call you my BFF all day long. But I, if, as long as I ain't rubbing up on your ass and trying to get in, get in your cake, then don't be don't be concerned about what words I'm putting on it. Be more concerned about my actions and the things that I do with you, that should tell you more about how I feel than anything else. Yeah, and piggybacking people, up, people, and people and people look at that. You, I mean, you'd be surprised how many. I mean, I've had, I've had, um, um, especially and two years ago, I hired somebody, and everybody, the females at my job thought the dude was gay that I hired because of the way. His his interactions with certain people, but he I mean every chick that he come across he trying to get in their draws, but it's the way the, the certain things he was doing or the way that he particularly looked, they thought he was gay, but that was not the case. It's all about what you do that defines who you are. So don't don't think that work 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 don't do that. Work don't define you. It's about what you do and your actions that follow up your words that make more that that mean more than anything else. But so typically, don't those somebody, two, hmm? typically don't those things line up your actions and your words? Shouldn't they? Shouldn't they though? They don't. I mean, actions speak louder to me because uh, like I, I got a, I, I definitely got a couple of friends. <laughs> I got a couple of friends that's skeptical. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care if they're gay. I don't know. I, I, they might be bisexual or whatever. But you know, like when I say, you know, one of them, Sean, and it's like, I don't know, man. But if he, if, if in fact he is, I asked him, was he? I asked uh, one of my friends, was he gay? You know, I'm like, not that I, not that I care, but he's just like, you know, like, look, okay, if you are, you know, what I'm saying, like, because it's an elephant in the room, is you know, like that was the elephant for me. So I asked him, I said, you know, you gay? We get into, we gonna have the whole gay conversation, I guess, later on, uh, coming up or whatever. But I just ended to say, you know, what I'm saying, like. It's, to me, you know, some people are just feminine acting. You know what I'm saying? And you just, uh, I, don't even, they, they, I don't even feel comfortable saying that. They just have a way about themselves that, you know, that, that's not, you know, macho or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if I see you sitting up there talking about gay people yet, you know what I'm saying, you got this way about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, I, it, to me, it, you're just going to have to do something to, to make, because to me, gay, at the end of the day, let me try to get paint myself out this corner because I don't want I, I want to be very politically correct about it. Uh, but um, it's it's me, not, what, it's, not it's not the it's not what it's not what you say. Yeah, it's, it's what you do. It's what you do. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Gay is sticking. You know the dick. You know sex with a with the same sex or you know for men and women. If no one tried to have sex with me. I can't say that you gay to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I might, you know, I might think something or whatever, but you ain't did nothing. I ain't never caught nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. And I think if you are gay, you should be able to come out that closet and walk. You know what I'm saying? I feel, feel like you, if you was not a superstar in sports, or if you, you're the biggest star to the smallest star to the middle star, you should be able to come out. 
you, you should be able to walk the earth with everybody else and, you know, be out here like that and do what you do. But if Sean was a, Sean has never showed any actions that he was gay. He might have said some dumb shit before. You're like, <laughs> you stupid, dude. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's like, you know, he never, like I said, he ain't never touched me or made a pass on me or tried to take it somewhere else. Because if he did, now we really have to, it's a, it's a Kanye moment. We got to talk. Well, pause. It's a, it's a, it's a tough moment. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got to do some real talking. Like, hey, look, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not going that way. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So, you know, I feel like somebody got, like George said, you got to make the action. So, so, so my thing is, could, could, could that, could, could there be another Frank Ocean? Could there be somebody else? Could, could Kendrick Lamar or could, could, uh, shit, could Jay Z come out? As far as we fucking know out of the closet and say, you know, or or out of their proverbial closet because it's no real closet and say, you know, this is how I feel and people be okay with it. Because at this point, like people okay I mean, they're okay with Frank Ocean. Nobody care no more. He said it. Y'all i mean, people were kind of um obscure to it to a point for a minute, but at this point, Frank Ocean is Frank Ocean. He, he is who he is. If he make another dope album, he just make another dope album. Nobody cares. Somebody else coming out soon. I don't know who in music, though. I couldn't tell you. It might be a surprise, but I, 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 I think it's going to be a singer. You know, but I don't know who y'all think. Hmm. It's coming. I don't know who it's going to be either, but it's coming, without a doubt. I mean... We still, we still, we still waiting on Queen Latifah to uh, go and drop, <laughs> go and drop, go and drop that knowledge. Ain't nobody gonna be surprised though. Like uh, I, I, mean, I can tell you what people will say. She ain't even have to say it. Why she even have to come out and tell us? And that's the thing. See, and, and, and there, <clears throat> period, therein lies another quagmire with it because you know, like for you were saying, Mark, um, address, go ahead and address the elephant in the room with the whole coming out. Then I know when George had posted something about or, uh, um, somebody had posted about Robin Roberts coming out, you know, over the holidays. I did. A lot of people was like, uh, shit, so, you already knew that? What is you talking about? Like, you done wasted your time, my time. Everybody she didn't, know. So, so <clears throat> my thing is, uh, for as many people who going to say, come on out, come on out, it's going to be, you know, equally as many people to say, Queen Latifah, for real, on Twitter you done came out when we already knew when you was when you was um 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 who you calling a bitch? We knew then that you was that you was eating a nappy dugout, girl. So what is you talking about? So I didn't know then, but <laughs> I wanted to date her back then. But yeah, whatever. She was kind of she was kind of fly, fly, fly on living single though. On living single. Wait, wait, you, you, Latifah wasn't fly on living single, man, like you wouldn't really want to get out of <laughs> She, She had that butter with her. Was, she was fly, oh. but you knew then that you was she wasn't feeling old, dude. You knew then you was she hopeful. wasn't You was hopeful. Out. You was hopeful that she wasn't. You didn't know, though. You hey, Keith. Who, who you was know hopeful? What? Who was hopeful? Please. Hey, KB, you know what, you know what coming out of it is a can to? To me, it's like when people think Jesus Christ, they Lord and Savior for winning the Grammys or, you know, or... Or winning a Super Bowl, I can only do this because of my Lord of Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After they score a touchdown and when they get interviewed, you don't have to say that. You don't, but you do because that's who you are, and that's what coming out is, to, mm -hmm. in my opinion. You know, like, hey, this is who I am. This is who. <laughs> what did I say? This is this is who I am. This is what I believe. And yeah, and guess what? I'm thanking God too. I'm a Christian and I'm gay. It, it might not make no sense to a lot of people, but this is who they are, and they're proclaiming it, just like y'all proclaim the God thing, and y'all can say all this stuff, y'all can put all these posts on Facebook, God is the man, and you know this, that, and the third, and everything. They get to proclaim themselves, too, because they have their right, just like... Hold on, one more thing, Keith. We, we already know you're a Christian. You know, so you telling us, oh, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm rock hard for Jesus Christ. God damn it, I'm willing to die for this shit on, on the word. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I know that too. You don't have to say it, but you do. And I respect what you do because that's you. 
But see, my point was, with that was that I don't, I don't have a problem, and I, and I, I absolutely get what you're saying. I don't have a problem with people who choose to come out. Come out, hey, hey, slam the door wide open and come right on out. That, that's fine. But what I'm saying is I don't think that anybody should be pressured to come out of a alleged clause or some, you know, proverbial. I agree. I agree with that. Uh, and, 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 you know, we, like you said, we, we'll, we'll go into, because it, it's absolutely a whole lot that I want to say about the, the whole gay thing, because uh, I feel some kind of way about it, obviously. Um, but but this, this ain't what this show is about, man. But, um, yeah, let's just move on. Yeah, but, but but I mean, but for me, I mean that that that's something that that's coming in 2014. It's going to be a defining moment where people stop saying people stop living. People in 2014, I I would hope that people stop living for other people, mm. living for themselves, and start being okay with who they are and seeing that that's just one. That's just one segment of their lives. That's not who they are as people. Well you could said. be, you could, you could be, you could be, you could be the whore of the moment. But that don't mean that you're not a successful business person, or that you know how to, you know how to run a business. Okay, you in your personal life, you like to be a hoe. You like to suck every dick and you like to fuck every 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 ass or whatever that come your way. But that don't stop you from being who you are. And that's that's a defining line for men and women and gay and straight and, and whatever that all entails. That 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 all that's all encompassing. Oh shit, we're doing Jerry Springer moments to end it then. Let me go next. And then yeah, who else whoever else go next after me. I don't know, but mm. Jerry Springer moment. God damn it. God damn it, uh uh So I would like to say in twenty fourteen and beyond, we're getting off that bullshit. We letting old ideas die with old education. Ain't gonna be ain't no ain't too many hiding places. NSA on your ass. You know what I'm saying? They making cameras and video recorders. We we want to be on Facebook and all these social medias. So there ain't gonna be too much hiding. So hmm. you're gonna get out that closet. And by the way, being in the closet ain't just for that gay shit or anything else. Get out that damn closet if you sad. Get out that damn closet if you broke. You know, get out that damn closet, you know, if you ain't good at what you're doing yet. You know, you, you, you out here macho and shit, you know what I'm saying? You dressing, going to all the parties, but, you know, don't got shit for yourself. Just be honest about that shit, man. Come out of all these goddamn closets. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Because no, cause don't nobody really care in the end anyway. Don't nobody care. Well, people, people actually, people do care. You'd be surprised who can help you. You'd be surprised who can help you and hurt you if you do come out. But I think you need to see that. Lastly, man, let's get off this. You know, this, this to me is some suck ass uh, sexism. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to treat women the right way. To me, you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. You know, women uh, should should be treated with more respect. You know, we got these old ways of social roles and all this other stuff that comes from traditions and cultures. You know what I'm saying? Women ain't having that shit. They're trying to tell us in so many ways they ain't having that shit. Mm -hmm. They're breaking, they breaking glass ceilings everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, so we need to get off the sexism shit. I know we don't see it now. You know, so this is the way of the world. I got to do as the Romans do. I don't have to do as the Romans do, but I got to live in this world and watch this shit. But I'm going to speak out on behalf of a, of a woman if, you know, for those that don't speak out, just like I would speak out on behalf of anybody else that I believed in. And I believe in women, you know what I'm saying? Some t women got to get off out this slave mind syndrome, this Stockholm syndrome shit. And that's my Jerry Springer moment. I love y'all. Fuck y'all who don't like me. Let's do this. Man. Tough crowd, boy. Thank you, man. I try, I try, Sean. Thank you, man. Sean, your Jerry Springer moment, bro. Oh, it's, on me. it's on me, no doubt. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of, actually, I, I should be original and say, you know, uh, my own thing, but I actually, I'm going to kind of piggyback off my boy Mark and say that, um, you know, 
not necessarily what he's saying about the sexism because I still do believe in some old traditions and old the old guard in in, in to a certain degree. Um, but I think that all my mother used to tell me that you do all things in moderation. Um, and so I think that when people get over when people go overboard and they start trying to uh, limit people's uh, growth, that then I be, I do believe that there's a problem. But I think that for the most part in in 2014. And as you said, and beyond, I think the main thing and the main focus needs to be on you being the best you that you can possibly be. Because if you are that, no matter what your sexual orientation, no matter what your gender, no matter what your race, color, creed, um, I think that if you are the best you that you could possibly be, that the people that matter won't care. Then the people that care won't matter. You know, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, and you're doing it to the best of your ability, you won't be concerned with, you know, what, what other people think of you. Um, we got to get to the place where we can move forward and, um, you know, continue to grow as, as people. Not as black people, but as people. As There is no uh, black and white. It's, it's mankind. So we all have to grow as people. Um, I'm not going to say... F you to anybody because I love all y'all. I even love my enemies. You love those who hate you and despitefully use you. That's biblical, by the way, just in case y'all didn't know. But um, even those who try to rob you. <laughs> yeah, them, them too. You just bu just bust <laughs> shots. That's all. <laughs> no. I can't, y'all do. Let let them let them have us fly. <laughs> let them. Hey, let me just say, I, let me just say, I ain't say hate them. It's a tough crowd, huh? Yeah, let me just let me just say to my haters, I didn't say I hate you. I just said fuck you. It's an emotional response. Hey, hey! I'm clapping the flamers before <laughs> clapping the flamers before I became famous. <laughs> but peace, peace. I, 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 hey, I, I love all my haters. They keep me driving and moving forward. They keep Indeed. me mo making me want to do better, so they can hate me more. So Indeed. they some fuck niggas to me. But go ahead. He's laughing hard, boy. <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. Jerry Springer moment, baby. No doubt. Right, my, my, my Jerry Springer moment, man. Um, since it's been pointed out that I'm a Christian, first, I'll honor and glory to God. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> that. <laughs> for real, for real. And, um, oh, that was another little catchphrase, too, FR, FR, for real, for real. But, um, <laughs> uh, um, man, Hillary Clinton in 2016. Um, <laughs> 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 but I, 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 everything aside, man, I, I, my, my thing is, bro, for 2014, I just, um, I know for me, man, um, I live at the corner of balance and moderation, man. You know, Mark, you, you know, you always talk a lot about moving forward and, and kind of um, leaving some of these ideals of the past behind. But I, 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 I'm not so quick to want to leave behind, you know, some of these traditions and some of these styles because I think, you know, some of these are, 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 are some great things that, that – um, we've built upon and um, you have to have a strong foundation, man, to build anything. And I think a lot of these traditions and all the, some of this old thought, man, is, um, is relevant still. Um, even though, you know, we have to continue to move forward, man, and, and life is constantly changing and, and technology is moving us way faster than I would want to go because I'm just, you know, that kind of guy, man. I'm just an old school kind of guy. And I, to me, uh, technology is more of a hindrance than a help in a lot of ways. But uh, at the same time, man, uh, um, I think if, if you can if you can marry some of this tradition with some of this new age thought, man, you will be all right. And that's, that's how I feel about it. Uh, the way we need to make moves in 2014. I forget. You, you absolutely cannot forget some of these thoughts, man. Some of the stuff that's been handed down to us. You, you can't just move on without it because you're going to crash and burn and your building is going to fall from up under you without that strong foundation. So as you move forward, you still have to recognize and honor some of this stuff from the past. All right. Well, you man. You Thank you, MLK. Happy birthday, MLK. Even though you can't hit me, my nigga. Right. What? What did you say, my nigga? Oh my God! He said, "Nigga, why can't I say it?" 
No, nah, I'm laughing at the fact that you say even though you can't hear me, my nigga. He can't. <laughs> I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm talking to the damn screen. But, you know, I love him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you thank, thank you for the, I mean. Uh, oh, 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 I know another thing, man. I just want to uh, thank everybody who's been on this uh, mail room ride with us, man. And I hope that they continue to ride with us, man, as we continue forward. Continue to um, like their Facebook page, the mail room. Tell your friends about the mail room. Don't just like statuses. Don't just look at statuses. Please interact with us. Um, tell us how you feel about the topics that we're talking about, you know, on that Facebook page and, and absolutely join us in these live um, conversations, which will be um, mostly every Tuesday and sometimes on Wednesday or whatever. But uh, uh, we here, man. We ain't going nowhere. And I just want the people to know that uh, we out here, man, and we, 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 we delivering it, man. The only way we know how, like, how... Uh, the mail room does, man. So I just want everybody to get on board and stay on board with us. And I appreciate those who are already here with us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you, mail room right. peeps. Thank you, right. mail. Especially, I mean, we have some, we have some great people coming to you this year. I mean, especially with the interviews. I mean, even if you think you have some significant to say or you have some significant to add, um, let us know. We'll put you on. So you can you can voice your opinion, and um, we gonna give you our opinion right on back, and um, and, and we can go from there. I mean, we have some we have some we have people from every walk of life coming to the coming to you this year from their vantage point, from their experience or inexperience vantage point, to um, let you know how they feel about you know certain topics or certain things, especially coming up we have. Um, somebody who we really love, uh, Miss Mid McNeil, who is who is celebrating. Um, I'm sure today <laughs> she's celebrating. AKA uh, Miss Miss AKA of all AKAs. She she she, she one of our special assistants from uh, an alumni from Tennessee State University, a lawyer who has um, shown and proven yeah. in the state of Michigan. Uh, she coming. She's coming up. Not T S U, but she's Not coming you. up. She's coming up for you in February, as well as um. As well as um, <laughs> a, 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 a close friend and brother of mine, uh, out of Chicago, who who, had, who has a very prospering uh, ministry, uh, Fred Wilson. Who is who, who's uh, doing some dynamic things in Chicago? We, I mean, don't that's just coming in February. So just to let you know, there 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 are some things coming for you that you need to watch, and and and, and please watch for them because uh, they they are some of the, of the mover. We're going to bring you some movers and shakers for 2014 and beyond. So um, stay tuned. Stay tuned, watching. stay tuned. No doubt. And if we put you on here, don't be on that fuck shit. Right. <laughs> How about it? What? <laughs> what you I'm just saying, man, people be on that fuck shit trying to stay on too long, you know what I'm saying, trying to argue with me because I disagree, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm clipping niggas, man. I'm clipping. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. saying <laughs> Mom, I know you're watching this. I love you, Mom. Hey, hey, Mark, you know we're going to have to add in. Um, oh, oh Mark, nigga, Mike, Ms. you know we're going to have to Ms. add that into Ms. a Myrna, show. She's going she gonna to have her own episode because she got some things she got to say. She oh, gonna, absolutely. Gonna absolutely. Love. Mom, Deuce got to come on. But what I was saying, Mark, man, you know a lot of how a lot of folks feel about that N word. So we might want to tackle that N word uh, coming up too, man. We won't, we probably, won't, probably. Let, 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 let's let's tackle that N word in February, man, for Black History Month. Oh man, yeah. I know Sean got something oh, to say oh, about that. Oh, 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 oh my God, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna listen to Sean rant. <laughs> about the oh, goddamn. Oh. Hey, look. I say it just to be funny, but anyway, let's go ahead and call it a night, man. It's almost 10.30 and, you know. Actually, it's almost 11.30. It's almost you know we're going off Central Time. Come on, man. Absolutely. We're going off George. George, George, no George, come on, George. You out. You don't from St. Louis. Nobody care about no Central <laughs> <laughs> Man, George, you, you going to be like that, George? 
Georgia's on the East Coast, man. You can't make that man like your time, man. Get out man, of Chicago. George. Man. Get out of Chicago. Because, because because Georgia is on the East Coast. 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 Georgia is on the Y'all let us know. Settle this, settle this argument for us. We don't, we don't know nobody. Hey, we don't know about, about five people on the West Coast. So yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. We got some folks on the West Coast, man. We got yeah, some, we folks, got on some folks on the West Coast. Hillary, come on here. Oh, we got, we yeah. got a discussion to have with uh, Miss Hillary in uh, San Diego. She gonna have to tell us some things about um, how she feels about. Oh, oh my. How she feel about? Uh, how she feel about that bud? And her and Sean gonna argue. <laughs> and she gonna correct my spelling as she usually does. <laughs> no, we got words for Hillary. You hear us, Hill? Anyway, man, we need to go, man. Seriously, man. Thank you guys for joining us, Keith, Sean, George. Hey, look, it's always a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for allowing me to come on here. You know what I'm saying? And trip out with y'all. It's all just fun at the end of the day. So love y'all. No homo. No, I didn't touch y'all booty or nothing like that. I know. No Hopefully y'all feel comfortable no saying. Which we yeah. should retire in 2014. No homo. Yeah. Man, love y'all. Thank you. Right. Peace. 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 Peace.